<laughs> All right. Uh, I'm SB, and this is going to be Super Mario Sunshine. What up? We're the Wafflers. I'm Rox. <laughs> this is Hex. Um, and we're so excited. Uh, I guess let's just get right into it because a lot of cuts at the start. Yeah, you know. So, yeah. So, can we get a countdown from... Are you, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Let's go! Let's go! All right. So, Super Mario Sunshine for the Nintendo GameCube play we're playing on the way. Um, but, yeah. I'm excited for this. We're I'm back excited. with 120 shines. Um, so, yeah. this game is one of my favorites. What that's, about you? That's why we're here. Yeah, I know. But this game is awesome. What about you? Do you like this game? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's been a lot of changes a in lot. this game since the last you're, time you're it's gonna, been shown up. Your off. mind is literally going to be, it's going to knock your socks off in your mind. Like, it's going to be great. Yeah. So, one thing that's a little different from usual attempts that you see if you boot up someone's Twitch stream is, we're actually watching the intro cutscene. There are different ways to start the run that the community's agreed upon. The most popular one is called Hacked File, where basically there's, um, you hack the Wii so that you can skip the cutscenes, except for this little gameplay section at the beginning, which you're gonna see. And it allows runners to get more attempts started, because otherwise you'd have to wait five minutes for cutscenes. Also, it was moving. We missed it. Ah, it, but was it was moving. moving. Okay, don't touch the AQP and like you, but it is moving. It is. Anyway, we finally got a little bit of gameplay. We're going to talk to Peach. We're, right now, we're going to dive. We're going to roll out. We're going to jump over the polluted piranha plant. And then we're going to get to float over here. We're going to reach it. Incredible gameplay from SP right there. Can we get a round of applause? All right, so anyway, we got another cutscene. Anyway, this one teaches you how to use Flood. Um, basically, Flood. Flood. Flood, yeah. Flood. Wait, flood. Anyone who's played this game knows, knows Flood. Knows Flood. And you're going to be seeing the mechanics of Flood, the usage of all the different movement that Flood grants us, those different movement options. All those and nozzles flood. and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Different nozzles. Flood is top tier homie. Yeah, Flood actually makes this game really good Incredible. for speedrunning because Flood with the spray mechanic allows you to do a bunch of insane stuff that you're going to see. And it also allows you to do... Um, water slides, which mm. allow you to reach max speed. And this game has a lot of actions per minute. Oh and my Flood, god, what is part of that? You're gonna you're gonna see the amount of things that SP is just doing at a time. Mario is like turns into Elastigirl, honestly. Yeah. Just oh, like yeah. with the amount of just like things oh, yeah. he's doing. Anyway, what you were describing earlier is during PB attempts we use a hack file to skip these cutscenes except for the little gameplay sections. Okay? Uh, that is on if we're playing on the Wii, which SP is. People run on 3D All-Stars on the Switch, like Mr. Speedrun's over here. Yeah, um, this game was re-released in the package for 3D All-Stars, and the core gameplay, the skips and everything, it's the exact same game. The only difference is, well, when you play on Wii, the memory card, you can take that out, and you don't save throughout the run. You can't do that on 3D All-Stars. So, while 3D All-Stars does have faster loads, you lose time because for every blue coin and every save text box, you have to scroll down in a menu instead of just pressing A. Mm -hmm. So, that's a piano butt over there. Do we, do we have a name for him? Gerald. Gerald. That's my boy Gerald. Like, Gerald again? We already made that bit. That was already a bit earlier. Okay, a lot of people have named Gerald. Okay. Popular name these days. Also, every time we get a shine, you're going to hear a little bit of a jingle. At the end, we're all going to clap. We're going to need clap. the audience help for this one. Yeah, OK? So, so we'll just demonstrate for this first one, OK? If you guys know what you're doing, clap along. Ba, 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 ba. All right, there we go. So we're going to be getting 120 of those, so be ready. But well, I guess we're only going to be clapping 95 times, but uh, we'll get there later. I feel like we're just going to have some cutscenes now. So if you want to yeah. run some donations, now would be a perfect time. Now be a great time. Oh, I would love to. We have five dollars here from Galactic. Who says uh, that's my man? My man. My man. My man. Stick. Good luck, SB. It's always great to watch you play. I'd also like to shout out the amazing people on commentary. None other than the king and my man. My man. <laughs> Keep on waffling. <laughs> shout out to Stick. Uh, very good multi Mario runner, and very, he's on the grind. Yeah. If you just people like 10 minutes, he'd almost get the entirety of the 320 range. Um, yeah. yeah, keep Good going, guy. Oh, sure thing. We have here fifty dollars from Vanessa, who says Super Mario Sunshine, uh, Sunshine is my favorite game to watch. Thank you, thank you for donating. It's one of my favorites too. So real quick, a little bit of a lore dump. Yeah. 
So basically, this imposter has painted Ayo Delfino with this icky paint like goo. And because these people have no eyes and no brain, they think Mario did it. Look at that sketch. Who could that be? The party sits among us. No! Um, so yeah, basically Mario gets thrown in jail and we're going to clean the entire island. And um, I guess one thing to note before I forget to mention it, you're going to notice the game actually get brighter as we get further into the game because one really cool thing that Sunshine does, the more shines you get, the the more sunshiny it becomes. Yeah. Um, and that's, cool. that's going to be a, like a cool thing to be seeing. So it's going to start like, you know, darkish now. By the end of the run, it's going to be like... Mm -hmm. Also, you should probably mention something about this category. It's been a while since 120 Shines has been shown off. So just to refresh everyone's memory, we're going to be collecting 96 Shines and then 240 Blue Coins. And at the end of the run, those 240 Blue Coins you get a shine for every 10 blue coins. So we'll end up with 119 shines. And actually, the shine in Corona Mountain is the last one. Usually, the final star doesn't count, but in Sunshine, it does. So it's going to be really cool to see the routing because we have to pick up those 240 blue coins. And some of them are only available in certain missions. So there's been a lot of time spent for routing this game. And there's been so many routing developments. And I'm pretty sure SB is using a new route that came yeah. out like really recently. Literally, SB, <laughs> so like, what, two days before the event? Something like that? You got record back? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. By like four frames or something yeah, like that? Uh, point four by point four, yeah, by point four <laughs> seconds over legendary Japanese runner Nanashi. Um, using a completely different route. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be showing that off too. There's going to be so many new things of collecting blue coins where we never thought they were supposed to be collected during things. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of multitasking. There's, you got all yeah. these different blue coins. This game has like, there's like 20 different routes you can do that are like all within 10 seconds of each other. Yeah, it's, it's very open. It's very cool. Yeah. Um, and it's very nice where you can just mix and match, uh, especially for the second half. But we'll get there when we get there. First off, we're finally back with some gameplay. Uh, Esper's going to be doing what's called scumbag movement because, you know, we are scumbags after all. Uh, to get to this polluted piranha plant quicker. Um, these polluted pir piranha plants, yeah, that was a mouthful. <laughs> these polluted piranha plants, uh, they get, I guess, progressively more difficult as you keep seeing them, but that's not saying much. Anyway, this one we're going to be doing, we're going to be hitting him, and during this little waiting period, we're going to be hitting inside this uh, jail cell to be collecting our first blue coin of the run, and we're not even going to be seeing the text, cop text box because as the cutscene starts, SB Times collecting the blue coin, so the cutscene... Uh, you know, the cutscene fade out cancels out the text, skipping, you know, doesn't save a whole lot, but it definitely saves time doing it. And you have to make sure you get that blue coin during that little waiting section. Otherwise, you have to wait till after the cutscene, go all the way out of your way, go back, get that blue, and go all the way back out. Also, a funny thing to notice is the blue coin is still there in the cutscene, even though you collected it. That is true, yeah. Uh, I think we have time for a quick donation or two. I'd love to give you one. Here's $55 from Cool Cat, who says, Shine Get Hype Train? Let's see some $5 donations flood in as SB Electric continues to shine. Choo choo! Yeah, so what you saw SB do there is called a quick kill. The way Shadow Mario's health works in this game is very interesting because usually you'd have to chase him and spray him down, but there's a certain distance away, and if oh, yeah. you do a uh, spam spray fast enough, you can just kill Shadow Mario instantly. And so that's what you're going to be seeing throughout the levels. And it's it's not very high risk to go for. So it, it's mm -hmm. one thing where if you get it, it's it's like almost a bonus. Yeah. Uh, you saw as we get early on there, you can kind of spray the wall before it like it actually loads and you get instantly unlocked. So right here, we enter Bianco 1. All right. Um, so, you know, we're going to Bianco run, right? Well, not exactly. So what do you basically... Mean? The way this game works is you have to unlock Corona by defeating the seventh shine in each world. Spider. And usually you can't skip, but you can for this level because the second shine, PD Piranha, is already there. Mm -hmm. So we use that spider, uh, which is RNG where it is. It was kind of in a weird place against yeah. that wall, but it worked out. Uh, and we're getting those blues, doing those windmill wall kicks up to this PD Piranha cutting trigger right here. Mm. Um, and then and we got our first PD fight. Um, 
Petey works pretty simply. As long as you're like 90 degrees to him, he'll like start looking at you and start to throw up all over you. And then that's your cue to start spam spraying. Yeah. Which we should talk about spam sprays. That is very true. Yeah. We, we neglected to mention that. So one very overpowered thing that Flood can do is if you press A and the R button at the same time, it does this spam. Right there. Right there. Yeah. And an interesting thing about this is the water droplets are RNG. They're completely, yeah. It's... <laughs> If you watch a tassel this game, shout out to Delpico Kirby, um, just who very recently released a full 120 shine yeah. task, and it is wild. Highly recommend watching it. Um, anyway, yeah, if you watch a tassel this game, they can manipulate where the water goes. Like all of these little droplets, you say you can manipulate where it goes, and it's it's wild what you can do task wise. Yeah. But anyway, just be spam spraying into PD. Um, you know, grab yeah. him, and then that's our first visit with Peter. Everyone say oh, bye, yeah. Peter. Bye, Peter. He'll be back, don't worry. <laughs> we'll see him very soon, don't worry. We'll see him very, very soon. The goat will return. Mm -hmm. So that is Bianco 2. Next up is Bianco, Bianco 3. 3. And Bianco 3 is our first secret of it the run. It is. Um, and secrets are, you know, very special levels. Maybe for all the wrong reasons. Uh, where, uh, yeah, the secrets, Flood's taken away. Um, yeah. And that's not good, obviously, because, you know, when you flood. Um, I mean, it's not like it's bad either. It's kind of the game. Yeah. But, but basically, you know, it's interesting when you're you're like you're left to only Mario. You're left to only Mario. Yeah, but it no actually makes for some really cool movement. Mm -hmm. And along with that, we yeah. are so, going to be bringing something back. We, so basically, as you as you all probably know, this is the first AGQ in person since 2020, since before COVID. Um, and because we are so back, the back couch is so is back. Um, it feels like GDQ's back. Yeah. And, and so what we're going to do is we're going to bring something back as well. We're going to bring well. something back too, but we're going to need a little crowd, crowd participation here. All right? And if those who know what's coming, follow along. But welcome back. Welcome Doo -doo -doo back to the Doo -doo crew. So we're going to need some help here. Please don't let me embarrass me by myself. <laughs> we'll be doing that we'll for that. all the secrets. <laughs> so we'll get better, okay? We will. It's a process. It's a process. This is a learning experience. We're in it together as a learning experience. Anyway, that's your first secret, uh, Bianco 3. But now that right there, another Pluto Prana plant. Yeah. And Espy's doing some crazy things right here with some blue coin routing. All right? So, if I can first pull off. Up, <laughs> first off, this polluted prana plant uh, is in two phases. Um, it's just the same as the first one, just twice. Or the, the same as the, the one in the Bianco statue, but twice, more or less. So, first off, while we're you know, waiting for it, we're going to get this blue on the tower, all right, during the first phase. Off I go. And then, we'll be running back, finishing off the first phase here. And then for the second phase, we're going to let SB concentrate, and yeah. then we'll explain yeah, it after. Yeah, we're going to explain it. Basically, we're going over here while he goes back down and down up. All right, because we have the time to do so. And then that is the first, like, cycle of him getting it. And then now we're going to let him focus. This is travel skip as well. Okay. Unfortunately, missed there. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Uh, okay, it's kind of a big deal now. Okay. All right. Oh, well, we tried. Oh, we tried. It's all good. Not, not the big deal. It's just one blue coin. We can always get that. Oh, oh that's unfortunate. I guess it we can get it now. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we don't have to remember to get the blue litter. Yeah, so travel skip there, basically. This is the travel that we would skip. Yeah. Um, you can basically activate that cutscene and the game kind of freaks out, but it sends you into the level anyways, yeah, and you, you can, skip this part. During, while the cutscene starts, you can enter the Bianco yeah. right here, and it plays both cutscenes at the same time, so you're just in Bianco while Rico is spawned. Um, and then this is Bianco 4, yeah. um, which is the first red coin level. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just eight red coins. You have to collect them. And the movement is sick. This is one yeah. of the coolest just like base straight movement uh, oh my god, there's so much movement we're gonna have to about explain. Uh, so what SP is about to do here is something called grass spin. He does a hover slide, which is the fastest way to get to the peak acceleration. And he uses that little corner to buffer a spin jump. That's something we should probably mention. Spin jump. The way it works in this game is you can buffer inputs where if you do a spin and then you press A a little bit later, you can store the spin so that you don't have to do the spin and press A at the same time. And you're gonna see that. But you walk right there. 
Um, what he just did was a glitchy wall kick. You know, he wall kicked, but went straight. Uh, basically, you can press a, the Y button, the first person mode, and right as you hit the wall, just, you know, Y, right, Y, A, A. And you can do that and hover to get over the wall. Uh, but next up is Bianca 5, which is the first, like, super major RNG point of the run. Um, it's not, honestly, that big of a deal in 120, uh, as it is in any percent, because uh, PD has a whole bunch of different patterns, like almost 800 different patterns that he can go in this level. And there's so many different blue coins around the village of Bianco. And so we can kind of like mix and match what's ones we get here uh, that are fast for each specific like PD pattern and then get the ones later in, um, in a later episode. Yeah. If anybody here is good with graph theory, PD's pattern in this level is a perfect example of graph theory. Yeah, right there doing another um, first-person dive there after the wall kick. Uh, hitting the Y button in this game is really, really important yes. uh, to going fast because you can turn Mario so much faster uh, because it goes to first-person mode. So you're literally turning Mario like this rather than moving him. Um, so, yeah, we're spawning PD here, and we're going to wait for him to come over. While we're doing this, we're going to get a bunch of blues um, and kind of clean up the area where it's going to be. Uh, but collecting blues here is really important. Yeah, this shine is definitely slept on in terms of difficulty, I feel, because you really have to be good with your routing. But it's always good to see, like, top-level runners really know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. SB is, of course, no exception. Yeah, so right here, PD stopping there. It's a pretty good, pretty good first spot. Mm -hmm. And then Tornado, unfortunately, he can do a Tornado or he can vomit at you. Um, yeah, Tornadoes are RNG. Yeah, there's a, that's just random. And yeah, first phase done. Ideally, I think SB has 12 or 13 blue coins at the end of this. Uh, I'm trying for 15. Okay, 15, 15. yeah, it's usually, it's usually 15 for higher levels. Um, but being able to get all these blues so you don't have to get them later is really important. Yeah. Um, because we're still on the, the cycle. The goal is still beat PD as fast as possible. Our priority is beating PD as fast as possible. If we need to leave some blues behind and not the end of the world, we can get them later. Um, I think now would probably be a good time yeah, for Yeah, now would definitely a good time for some donations. I don't know what we're winning. Oh, wonderful. Here's $50 for you from a local celebrity in the crowd, Princess Peach, oh, who says, No oh, way! No! I had to donate during my husband's favorite game, our first AGDQ in person, and it's been a blast. We also have $200 from Sega Star, who says, SB, I promised you I'd be your hype man. Here I am, ready to cheer you on. Let's get it. Thank you. Do you have time for a yeah, few more? Going. Yeah, go Wonderful. for it. Wonderful. Here's $5 from Greed, who says, Greed. Good luck, SB. Also, Rocks and Hex. Can't wait to see you guys at an event again soon. Go, Sunshine. I love this game. <laughs> Sounds great. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, all right. Oh, do you have time for one more? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah one, one more. more. Go for it. We have $50 from Chicken Sharks, who says, donating $50 for the eventual identity reveal of this painting imposter. <laughs> who could it be? Off. <laughs> yeah, so that was Bianca 5, very good by SB, routing in. Leaving with 15 blue coins is very good it's, because yes, that's the, the more blue coins you get here, the less you have to get in later missions. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the, the first segment of the run, is, uh, that's the first Bianca segment, because right now we're going to be moving and we're going to be doing um, another one of those cutscene skip type things yeah. um, with the Gelato Beach unlock, mm -hmm. as well as grabbing the beach shine that's just chilling there at the same time. And this is rather difficult and has a chance to, like, n do not great things to the game. So we're going to let SB focus here. He's going to need some audio. Um, it's not, like, now, but, like, yeah. But basically, this Blue Prana is the same exact one as uh, the Rico one. But as you see, as it's doing it, I'll knock the beach on there. It's going to be chilling up on these platforms. I'm just going to see where it spawns. And we're going to be grabbing that shine as Gelato is unlocked uh, to do the same thing as we were trying to do earlier with Rico. Yeah, so for this second phase, we're going to let SB concentrate. For sure. <laughs> As he does need some auto kills. Easy. Yeah! But yeah, as we're gonna say, so we got the shine, Gelato's unlocked, there's a text box, and we're gonna spawn right in front of Bianco again, and we're just gonna go right back in. Yep. Um, we used to actually not do Bianco immediately after Bianco, um, if that made any sense. 
Uh, we used to split Bianco into like like two different segments, which we still kind of do. Um, but we should, used to do Bianco six and seven later because of event cutscenes. Yes. Um, well, I mean, it's it's pretty much the same. I just do it yeah. here because I like to do Fruit Ladies earlier. Yep. Yep. And those are soon. Um, but yeah, event cutscenes are a very big part of the routing of this game. You're going to kind of notice that this one's split up in two halves, okay? So first half is more or less, if you're familiar with any percent, insane wide wide kick wall turn there yeah. to get that blue coin, by yeah, the way. Yeah, first half is more any percent. Um, second half is definitely where you get the 120 exclusive stars. Exactly. And that's pretty exciting because... And that's the... Yeah, yeah, that's like the big part that's, of the That's run. the big part. But, um... But, yeah, you're going to see more or less any percent, which is just kind of in every every stage, you have to be uh, episode 7, that's a Shadow Mario, that spawns Corona. Once we enter Corona the first time, that gets rid of every single cutscene that happens uh, in Delfino. So our goal is to get rid of those cutscenes as much as possible. Both my spiders died. <laughs> that's yeah, let's notice that. So, very yeah, let's, let's highlight that for a sec. Spiders move in an RNG pattern, and they can just despawn randomly. So and for both of them to despawn... That is kind of crazy. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> All right, yeah, that was Bianca Six. That's one of the yeah. hardest secrets without Flood. Oh, yeah. Our, our, yeah, just normal secrets in the game. Um, you have to wait in that block, which kind of sucks, but... Yeah, it's like just cycle-wise, uh, you have to do a lot of stuff. You saw him do a momentum spin jump, uh, which we'll talk about a little later as well. And yeah, first Bianca Seven, we're gonna do. Uh, Espy's gonna be trying to do another quick kill here um, with this Shadow Mario. And if we miss it, it's not that big of a deal. We just don't want him to go to the village because the village can lag a little bit. Yeah, yeah so you see the back up there. Up. If you miss the quick kill, it's just a short spray down. But yeah, I think we have time to go into a little bit of donations before we head into the fruit ladies. Wonderful. Here's $50 from Who Grooves On. Thank you. <laughs> Who says, I can't donate a lot this year, but I must donate during one of my favorite speedrun games ever. Super Mario Sunshine. Good luck on the run, SB Electric. Bring on the Doo 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 crew and shine get. So, yeah, shout out to everyone donating, by the way. Uh, obviously making this possible. Um, I'm so happy to be back at GDQ. Yeah, it's this is so awesome. Fun. Yeah, but anyway, right here, SB's gonna be doing Fruit Ladies. Um, at least these two. It's yeah. the uh, pineapple and the durian fruit lady. And the durian fruit lady. A lot of casual Notorious. players remember this. Yeah. Even a lot of speedrunners. A lot of speedrunners remember, remember this one. <laughs> this is hard. It's SMS has a lot of things where, from a casual perspective, you're like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. When you're trying Runners to do this fast. Know, yeah. Trying to do this fast is not easy. So it's all the more impressive when you can see a top runner do it. Yeah, because you're managing six different fruits. You're holding this pineapple. You're kicking these durians that go every which way possible. And you have, you're on a timer. After, I, forget, I think it's like two minutes, I want to say. Yeah. Um, the fruits despawn. And yeah, we don't want that. So what we just did there is hover slide to kick the durians across the pond. And hopefully one of them got dangerously close to actually going into the basket. If it goes into the basket before you talk to the fruit lady herself, uh, that fruit won't count. Yeah. Um, so hopefully all three durians are over there. They look like pretty good shots. If it's not in the basket, it's right next to it. Yeah, yeah. we're looking good. Right oh, it's there. good. It's good. That's good. Now, that was beautiful. Yeah. That was a really good As fruit, lady. All of the durians are immediately just right next to it. You didn't have to deal with that stupid hill on the left. Um, that was incredibly clean by SB there. Right now, we're doing piano early. I think casually you're supposed to get a rocket nozzle. I've never seen anyone do that before. Um, we just do that. You can do a cool little Y turn. Uh, what basically what you do, spin jump, hit the Y button to go into first person mode, turn, do another spin jump wall kick off of that to get enough height just to hover right back up and get into Piana. And here's Piana 1, another instance of RNG where these chocolates can go. Um, it's not too big of a deal. It doesn't differ too, too much. But it is noteworthy. Yeah. And I think it's interesting to note that Pianta Village is meant to be the last level you do. So these levels are casually 
and in speed running, pretty tricky. So oh, this yeah. is going to be uh, a, big, a good showing by SB. Especially with the, the strats SB is going to be doing. And managing all the blues. Like, even the tr the trivial stuff becomes difficult uh, in 120 here. And that was a very good pattern. Um, yeah, that was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And yeah, right good. here, we're going to pause, because that skips the text box of uh, Flood coming out being like, be sure to take be care sure of your pets. pets. Which is true. <clears throat> be sure to take care of your pets. Um, so yeah, the three chain chomps, the three chomplets. I was like there. Hooray. <laughs> yeah, no, that was good. And that level, it's one of those levels where it's not notoriously difficult. But if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. It goes wrong. But coming up is Piana 2. Get your guesses in for the race time. Yeah. Uh, because we're racing LP and TSMO. However, this is not just, oh, we just got to get to the flag. And Piana is really slow because we're speedrunners. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she was we want to go fast. Of a children's game. Um, but this is going to be a way closer race than you'd think because we have to collect during this more or less auto scroller while I was going there because we have to wait for him to get there anyway before he gives it the shine. We're going to be collecting as many blues as possible. Yeah. So we're going to be trying to clear Piana from the blue coins as much as possible during this. And it's very difficult and it can be annoying with the blues. First off, this sign sucks. That never works for me. Uh, we're going to yeah. sign And so there. this is actually very interesting. So it was discovered that you can actually save time on this auto scroller if you talk to the sign and you look in a certain angle specific direction at the flagpole, for some reason it's a second faster. So that was discovered recently. And then we do this race three times, um, there are only Those signs for two of them. Yeah. So it'll save two seconds. And while that doesn't sound like a lot, let's remember, SB got record by literally less than a Point second. Four. All of that matters. It all matters. And also, you'll see, he didn't like destroy PNT yeah. at that time. He actually like, it was within a couple seconds. Yeah. It was pretty close. Um, but you saw him get a massive speed boost up on that uh, the tree because SMS is a quirky little mechanic where if you dive in the rollout on a slope, you get a ton of running speed. Yeah. So we're going to be seeing that, and that's going to be very useful in a bunch of different other tricks um, that we're going to be seeing soon. But next up is Piana 3, <coughs> the only non-secret to get rid of Flood yeah. uh, just normally. And usually what you have to do is go like under the village and do you know a whole bunch of you know stuff yeah. that I honestly... Couldn't even tell you. I haven't done it casually in literally so long. And we're not going to do that yeah, at all. Yeah, because we're not going to do it. Because basically, we can damage waste. And this fire, this goop, if we touch it, it's fire. Okay? It'll burn us. We're going to keep bouncing. We don't want to do it. So we hit this wind gust right here. We're going to be diving up here. Doing the GWK. Yeah. yeah. That is incredibly difficult off of that little platform. Getting flood here. Making sure to not hit any of the fire goop because it sends you into like a tumble animation that we don't want. But we need to get a whole bunch of glues that we can only get on this level itself because of this giant goop. Oh, That's what the fire does. We don't want that. Luckily, it was just a little bit of a sliver. Yeah, so like this this burning dude, he can only catch himself on fire when the fire is here. So obviously, only a pound of three. Uh, so we need to make sure we get these shine specific or these episode specific glues in this specific episode. Yeah. And it's like another one of those things where the routing is just so important because, again, like you said, these blue coins aren't available in any other episode. And that's just what the, the routing and the community has done time, tirelessly to make sure that we can do this efficiently. Yep. Yeah, that was really good. Just, yeah, that was textbook. Besides yeah. getting hit that, besides the little fire incident. I'm not going to fault this speed. The, those, uh, the goop has, the, has the some goop wonky has some hit boxes. The goop has hands. Yeah. Next hooray! Up, hooray! Next up, though, is Piano 4. Um, not much going on here. Not much here. going on Piano 4, but however, SP is going to make a lot going on. Yeah, very true. Uh, this is another one of those we just have to wait uh, because it's a big chomp. Uh, his name is Brayden, of course, if you're yeah. watching the Mark <coughs> we run, um, which is another great run. Yes, uh, shout out to those guys. But, um, yeah, so Brayden, our good chain chomp friend here, can go either left, middle, or right. Um, looks like he's going it looks to like the right. He's going to the right. All right. And I think right's the slowest. <clears throat> I believe. With, the, with getting the blues here, it's uh, second slowest. Okay. It's the second slowest? Okay. I know 90% is slowest. Um, but, so, basically, you just gotta wait for Braden to get to his little bathing hole, okay? He doesn't wanna go in, but it's okay. He'll make them. We'll, we'll make it. And so, what SP's gonna do, and this is actually semi recent, is collect blue coins here. Usually, you wouldn't collect any here, but um, SP is fast enough to where, while the chain chop is moving, SP can collect three blue coins, yeah. which is a lot. And another thing to note, while collecting these blue coins, uh, we're manipulating Brayden to go where we want him to go. Because Brayden goes where you're not, okay? Like, if you block a path, he will go the other way. He won't run you over, okay? He's respectable. But anyway, Brayden's nice, shining, clean. Yeah. And, yeah, that's Piano 4. But next up is the biggie. The biggie. I'm going to biggie. explain this one real quick because there, there's a bit. There's a bit to explain. Yeah. So, this next one is... 
Pianta Village 5, The Secret of the Village Underside. And this is a very interesting level because what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to have Yoshi and destroy the Kraft Mac and Cheese goop yeah. blocking us. <laughs> but there's just one small issue. We don't have Yoshi. However, we can do a clip. Yoshi skip, which skips Yoshi. And basically, what that is, is that's not even the hard part. Then we get into the secret. And if you play this game casually, you remember the Chuckster secret. But there's actually a fast cycle that we can make called Ramel Cycle, which saves around 25 to 30 seconds. However, there is a little bit of RNG. But getting it would be really hype. It'd be sick, yeah. So um, we're going to let SB... Yeah, uh, when we get into the secret, we'll let SB concentrate. Well, we're going to... We're going to... We are gonna we're just going to be background though. music. Yeah, we're just going to be SP's background music, okay? All right, crowd, you ready? No way. Hold on, hold, hold, hold on. There's no way. There it is, baby. There's no there it way. Is. Let's go. Okay. That spin jump dive off that platform to yeah. get, like, to skip. So usually what we do is take that Chuckster, uh, skip the platform. Yeah. Instead, what SP did, take the platform and did, like, a spin jump dive. Yeah. Isn't that, like, really tight? It is. It is a lot harder. Isn't than that like really tight? That, can, that, that was wild. clutch. But he got that was early clutch. cycle. That was insanely good. Yeah. He was just chilling there. And then Piana uh, six. Yeah, Piana this six. Is, as a shout, first off, on you shout out my man Fetch. Yeah. Just got a two twenty in the IL here, which is like absurd. Yeah. Earnhardt, like two twenty on the time, the in-game timer. Because we're cleaning out the Pianas. He did it within forty seconds. Just got it like a like a month yeah. ago. Or so. Yeah. Shout out to Fetch. Insane IL, uh, ILer. This is um, definitely one of the cooler levels in Sunshine. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of cool levels, but this one stands out because there's just so much you can yeah. do in terms of routing, and it, it, there's literally a timer on the screen. Yeah. It's literally asking you to speed run it. Mm -hmm. Like, That's, it's literally asking you. Yeah. And so it's going to be a little different because in 120 Shines, we have to talk to these Piantas. We only talk to the adult ones because they have blue coins, so that makes it a little more difficult. But it, again, adds, you know, time for routing. And it's going to be really cool to see SB really just smooth through the level. Oh, yeah. Um, if you want to see more about, like, the level and the different mechanics and, I guess, the world record history, yeah. um, it's, I guess, slightly updated now, obviously, because we had records since then. But Average Trey has made a great video on it. Shout out to Average Trey. Obviously, yeah. it's kind of been criminal that we've gone this long without mentioning Trey. Um, the GOAT. Yeah, very good just SMS content creator. And if you're ever looking for yes, information on parts of the game or even like a world record history, yeah. Average Trey is your guy. Average Trey, he's, he's the OG SMS yeah. runner. I'm sure you're all familiar with his 120 runs. First ever person to get sub three hours yeah. in the category. Also ran it last time I was at GDQ. Yeah, he had, yeah, ran it um, before COVID, SGQ from NC, I believe. And HQ 2015. Um, you know, subscribe, follow him on Twitch, Average Trey, obviously. Yeah. Then yeah, very clean level by SB. Yeah, 157. Yeah. Uh, you have to get the blues in 120, obviously. Right there, getting both of them at the same time. Skipping a text box. We're going to see that at the end, too, as well. Uh, with the last one, get the shine and the blue at the same time. Not in the text box. Um, but yeah, so we can't do any such strats because this is 120. So we're getting the blues as well. Um, but yeah, super clean from SB. Yeah, there. very, oh, very beautiful. Yeah. It's a very good run so far. If you notice, astute viewers might have noticed, he did some sprays that looked kind of out of place, but that's so he could clear off the goop to yeah. unlock the Piantas Ooh. earlier. Because, hooray! Yeah, hooray! I keep forgetting to do that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, because you can't uh, talk to them to get the blue coin. Um, or it will also, and they can't be sprayed off yeah. until a little bit after they get like unlocked. They do a little animation where they get like shaken off um, from their goop bath, and then you can spray them again. Um, I so think, we do that to get rid of it. I think we have time for a couple of donations. Yeah, we do Piano 7 quick kill, get a blue, and then, yeah, go for it. Wonderful, wonderful. I've got $50 for you from Nick, who says, Impressive durian lady. That one was especially difficult for me as a kid. I had no idea what a durian was. <laughs> <laughs> they smell terrible in real life, fun fact. Keep going. Oh, oh, perfect. I've got $5 from the secret level, who says, Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> 
also have $25 from Frequently Bees, who says, delighted to be joining the Doo Doo crew from home and getting some sunshine on this icy Thursday. Hooray! Hooray. Good luck, SB. <laughs> yeah, so coming up, pin honey right? Skip. Honey skip. Right okay, now. so this is where stuff gets a little bit yeah. crazy. Basically, the route... What, what SP is going to do is SP is going to skip a cutscene that should be played at the start when you enter this pinna area. It's like 20 or 30 seconds. The only thing is, we have to collect that blue coin mm -hmm. here, and that's a lot harder than it looks because if you oh, get yeah. stuck, you, you you have to just exit the level. Yeah, so it's called Honey Skip because the person who found this cutscene was um, an old S64 Roadrunner, uh, Honey. Um, fun fact, I did not Wait. know that's why it was called Honey Skip. I thought the goop. Over the blue, I thought that was honey. I thought that's why people were calling it, but I was. We got it. it. Drifted it. But yeah, we yeah. got it. Cutscene skip. We just spawned right Let's there. Let's go to Pinna. So we die in the same frame, and it, it takes you there. Skip the cutscene. And we're heading into Pinna Park. Into Pinna 1, we're going to be doing another cutscene skip. This one is way easier. Yeah. But it's way also easier. way more important because it saves like three minutes. Yeah. But, well, there's two of them, and they save like three minutes collectively. Um, this is interesting because the way we're going to skip the cutscene is we're just going to the slide into the area. And then we're going to exit. And while we're exiting the area, while the load screen fades out, we're going to enter the cutscene trigger. And it only works in this spot for some reason. It doesn't work anywhere else. Yep, it's just exit area. And we skip Right there. Yeah, we skipped the lore. Um, yep. And we're going to do it one more time at the end of this fight. And that one at the end of the fight saves a lot more time. Mm -hmm. And it's a little bit harder, but there's a visual. It's, yeah, there, it's just like, it's timing. That's yeah. going to get it. I can guarantee it. If he doesn't get it, it would be really bad. I Please yeah. get it. Do we, there's a wood anywhere. Please get it, SB. Please don't make me. <laughs> yeah, that would be kind of awkward. That would actually be really awkward. <laughs> but um, what you saw before we entered, like as soon as we entered the park, he got the first bird of the run. Oh, yeah. And birds are a pain. They're random, basically where they fly. And you have to spray them to get the blue coin out of them, but they can just go all over the place. They can be annoying to kill. Yeah, it's rough. Perfect. Anyway, that was really uh, good. That, in terms of me explaining the birds, we that was the fight, and we skipped the cutscene, and hooray! Yeah, if you ever want to do that at home, when the pieces around Bowser explode, that's when you it's exit like when the, the area. So that's the visual cue. Um, I'll, I say I do it a little bit later. Because you can do it early. So yeah, was, that was clean really pin of one, incredible clean. Hooray! Hooray! Next up, pin of two, another secret. But but first, we get, before we get into the secret, uh, we're gonna be doing mole skip. Yeah. Basically, there's a mole, and we skip them. Well, we have to deal Could with the mole's uh, bullets That's for the blue That's true. That's true. Um, so, this mole is a pain because he lives in one of these cannons and he shoots bullet bills. And we need to get these bullet bills to hit these boxes. However, these bullet bills are very finicky where they go. So, SP is going to be doing what kind of looks like a random movement. It's to manipulate the bullet bills into hitting um, yeah. the boxes. So, well, yeah. I believe he's going to split it up between this between and we're actually going to do the, the, the red, red coin secret. Mission in this next level. And so what he's going to do is he splits it up strategically so that these purple bullet bills, no. you need one of them at least. So instead of waiting around for it to spawn, he's going to split it up so that he has two chances of getting the bullet bill. Yep. And uh, the reason we were able to do pin up two reds uh, next and not lose any time because of the event cutscenes, because there actually isn't any event cutscenes. So the way the routing works out um, is right here, just like, there's no cutscenes. Might as well um, do it. So we might as well just do it now. We're here, um, and it saves time than having to do it later because we don't have to sc sc the scroll, the shine, like episode all the way back to two. We can just do it right now, which saves time. But yeah, that was mole yeah. skip. You skipped the mole. That this was fun. I'm glad we're here. Yeah. Shout out to Jacob for having us. <laughs> Shout out to the crowd. It is packed. It I see is. Spike Vegeta. Hi, Spike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm glad everyone showed up for this run. I'm. This is awesome. This is sick. This is sick. This is sick. SMS is one of my one of my favorite games. I actually used to be an SMS hater, and then I saw the light. It's SMS, it's so fun. When you're SMS. When you're first learning, it can be very frustrating until you get good. Yeah. When you get good, as soon as that switch flips, yeah. and you become like, you know, like you understand what you're doing, you have a grasp of the controls, 
Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. That feeling. So this is going to be the purplest strat right here. Oh, I missed oh, it. Yeah. Close. Yeah, what you can do is, I okay. said earlier, you need a purple bullet bill. You can do a really, really precise thing where you use a black bullet bill instead, which doesn't home in. But like I said, it was, it's really, really precise. Mm -hmm. And so SB just got the purple one there. And we're all good. Yeah. So now we have purple one here. Oh, he hit uh, the butterflies. That's, <laughs> that's wild. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, the boulders kind of can do that. They just explode on nothing. Yeah. Uh, or, or like a butterfly. <laughs> and so this is the first instance of the red coin challenge. Yeah, no do to do here. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I, we could try to sing this one, nah, but this was a hard ass secret, so we're going to let um, SP focus. Yeah, basically, in every secret, we're going to revisit it, and there's going to be a red coin mission. And these oh. missions, you know, I said before, if there's a timer on the screen, people are going to speed on it. These are definitely one of the more fun instances of ILing. It's also pretty cycle-based for this one, so it was pretty chill. Getting a 35 there is pretty good. Good back You up. can make a faster cycle, but... It's, it's not. It's, it's, yeah. With Flood, you're able to, like, you know, hover over, so yeah. it's not that big of a time loss. Yeah, Pinter 2 is very difficult to get. You're going to see these red coin secrets. They're incredibly difficult yeah. because you're just over death. Yeah. You're over a, a, a kill fight. Like, you're over nothing most of the time. And we're doing, like, wide turn spin jump dives to just turn and barely grab red coins or hitboxes over disappearing floor. It's wild. And talk about more wild movement. Pin, pin a three. Oh, pin a three. Pin a this, is this level is so cool. I think, honestly, we just got to let SP's movement yeah, honestly, do it justice. We're gonna let, yeah, we're going to let SP do it. Uh, basically, it's another red coin level, and as we just saw, the red coin levels go crazy. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, it's such movement based, such tech heavy, mm -hmm. and we're just gonna let SP go for it, okay? Sure, yeah. So, these pirate chips, keep those in mind. They're on cycles. Aww. Oh. I'm even too slow for this. Oh, this is just not so good. Yeah, it's all right. Unfortunately. The backups, it's very important for this level if you you know how to improv, because if you do mess up your cycles, it's very everything gets thrown over. off. Yeah, everything gets completely thrown off. So if you're able to back it up in itself, that is just a skill to have. Yeah. Um, because this, this level, if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. But like literally... SP is just the goat. It's just the goat. Simply the goat. Yeah. I had a beanie that says the goat. And I can't find it, and I'm incredibly sad. You're waffling right now. I know I am. <laughs> Listen, it would happen at some point. Yeah, that's fair. So, um, yeah, right here doing another momentum. Uh, well, we're going to be grabbing this red. You can actually grab it through the... Uh, there's a strap where you can grab it through the grating uh, and actually clip back out on the grating because uh, that is a very finicky... It's very fitting the grating. If you like get, I, I'm not sure exactly how it happens, but there's a way where you can just like soft lock. Yeah. By hitting it the wrong way with the uh, electric buzz. That's interesting also because if you hover into certain walls in this game, you're literally just going to go through. Like you can yeah. just be, be hovering and mm -hmm, right out of bounds. But he was showing me earlier, if you get the turbo nozzle in Isle Delphi now um, and like start where, from where Noki is and go up those stairs towards where Serena is and do a spin jump, start your spin jump like right after the top of the stairs with the turbo nozzle. Just do a spin jump, you'll go right through the building. Directly yeah. through the building. SMS <laughs> collision, baby. Uh, we probably have time for a couple different Yeah, pin a four, just to be getting the snooze of us, trying to get a one cycle. Not much that's going on. Wonderful, wonderful. Here's $50 from King Shibby, who says, let's -a go. Donate to see that Pokemon Diamond Pearl glitch exhibition, which that is an incentive, by the way, y'all. If you're donating for this incredible sunshine run, we could use a bit over $20,000 to see that glitch exhibition. And come on, it's Pokemon. Who doesn't love Pokemon? <laughs> Time for a few more? Yes. Yeah, go for it. Here's $50 from Charmorg, who says, the accompaniment to the in-game music from the couch is the best thing I've seen so far this week. Oh, let's go. <laughs> You're about to leave me hanging on GDQ stage. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Here's another $25 from Aeoli, who says, thank you everyone who dedicates their time to put it on such a great event every year. Good luck, SB. Shine Get. Shine Get, cool cat. Shine get. Probably have time for one so more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure thing. 
Here's $120 from Hat Kirby, oh. who says, hello from the audience, donating $1 for every Shine Sprite SB Electric will collect today. This is one of my favorite games ever, and I'm loving the experience. Shine get. Hooray! <laughs> oh, I also completely forgot to mention this yeah. at the start of the run. Both of us, uh, 20, 25 bucks for death. Yeah. Okay. 25 bucks for death. 25 bucks for death. We're both going. Uh, I made that up right now. So, oh, okay. honey skip. Does, the, does that, that count? count? Honey, honey, intentional? In, intentional deaths. In, let, let me, uh, yeah. Unintentional deaths. Unintentional deaths. Death death. death. Okay. I'm not doing it for intentional death. That's kind of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> unintentional death, though. Yeah. And then uh, pin of five right here. It's another pretty point Runaway level. Ferris wheel. Not much, to, not much well, really going on here. Real except, quick. Um, you know, usually you have to go around the back, okay? And do the whole little puzzle maze thing. Instead, we're just going to get the momentum spin jump by going on the slope, doing a dive rollout. Uh, first, we got to get this blue, though, that we didn't we remember to get in pin of three. Um, but we can actually just go right through this first. Yeah. Just do that. Just like that. Uh, just very simply, you do that. But now, just getting these O's. Uh, gotta watch on the cutscene, going up the Ferris wheel. Pretty simple stuff. Pippi, keep reading them. You got it. Here's $50 from Mr. Popo, who says, clap. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> also have a thousand dollars from oh. Anonymous, who says poker tournament raised this for PCF. <laughs> Shout outs to Thank the poker tournament. <laughs> I also have fifteen dollars for you from Rox, who says, "Hey, same name." I'm also <laughs> donating uh, as a, a, a uh, sorry, as I remember watching my big sister play Super Mario Sunshine when I was five. My sister is also a cancer survivor, so let's all beat cancer one step at a time. That's rocks. That's funny. I, you jump scared me because I, I did donate right before the run. I thought you were going to read mine. I was like, I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep you on your toes. All right, all right. Pin a six. Pin a six is a rough one, though, so yeah. we're going to take it back for you, Pepe. Um, Pin of sixes, it's, it's, it's one of those things where it's in 120 a lot different because wow. we're going to be collecting a lot, a lot of, of blue blues. coins. Yeah, so Yoshi Yoshi has a whole different, you know, subset of things that Mario can't do. It's like he can eat butterflies. Yeah. He can turn platforms into, or he turn enemies into platforms. Yeah. And the way you unlock Yoshi is you give him a fruit. Mm -hmm. He and chooses a random fruit most of the time. And so what we see here is we're going to see what Yoshi wants, and then we're going to have to improv route a fruit in. Yeah. And then we're going to use Yoshi to collect multiple blue coins around the area. And it's really cool to see the routing. And there's going to be some instances where it's RNG, and we have to think on our feet. So he wants pineapple. Not bad. And what we did there is actually get that X so we can see what Yoshi wants. Okay, so pineapple, it's up here by this uh, bird. Uh, and I believe this is segment RNG. It's all right. Best is, best is obviously Kaya, which is chilling uh, as the booger. Um, it might be the worst, honestly. <laughs> really? The, the reason why it's the worst is there's a bird right above oh, the that bird, we need. Yeah. I've got that the bird. So, yeah, bird, the bird is why I go up here. That's fair. Um, you see the bird flying down actually now. The birds get triggered of like positioning of how close you get to them. They'll leave. Really clean my dad to get yeah. that bird. If that bird gets away, it's kind of trouble. Um, yeah, again, these link pairs. Um, and Yoshi can do this super hyper cool spin jump, so we're going to be using that to climb up this faster too, which is why we get it now. Yeah, Yoshi in this game is really cool, even though he can't touch water, unfortunately, but... Yeah, it's okay. He learns to swim by galaxy too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just do a wide turn dive off that, get to get these strolling stews. You know, they're just vibing, but they give a blue. Um, and the interesting is, this is not the entire level. This is what precedes oh, yes, the secret, secret level. So um, we do all of this, and you're not even done. Okay, and yeah, so and we'll, we're going to explain the secret uh, when we got there. Um, because it's very difficult, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. It's difficult. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very difficult. Before we get in, though, we'll, we'll talk, talk about one of the strats that we're yeah, going to so, see. So it's going to be called over the top and to the right. Do you want to explain why it's called over the top and to the right? I'll explain it once we see it, okay? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, I'm going to yeah. go to the middle. Oh, go in the oh, middle. Over the top to the right. middle. It's okay. <laughs> anyway, momentum there. Do, 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 do. It's going over the top to the middle because watch this. Keep going. He's doing a triple jump. It is going over the top to the middle. That 
that worked. That was good. That was good. Yeah, so he did a momentum, or a buffered spin jump dive at the end there to skip the entire block platform at the end, um, as well as the beginning block platform by going over the top to the middle. It's called that because you go over the top to the middle. Um, yeah, that actually is a lot harder than it looks so because it looks the, the, the dice time. move yeah. on a cycle, and if you're too fast, you will not be able to land on the dice. So you need to realize how I fast you need to go according on how good your movement is, and it's something that really separates the experienced runners from yeah. the newer runners. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the first time I've heard someone call them dice. <laughs> not but it, dice. But it makes sense. It makes yeah, sense. I, they do make sense when they're not dice. Uh, pin of seven, another quick yeah. kill. We probably have time for some yeah. donations. So, yeah, keep going, Pepe. I would love to share some with you. Here's $20 from My Hero Zero, who says, rainy day here, so I could use a little sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's snowy here in Pittsburgh. Um, so, we're just warming up. I, also, I got my sunny shirt on. Uh, I also have $25 for you from Rocks. It's you this time. <laughs> <laughs> says, hello from the couch. Hi. <laughs> Super stoked to be commentating an in-person GDQ run, and it's an honor having it be a legendary SB Sunshine 120 run. Much love and good luck on the run, buddy. You're gonna kill it. <laughs> yeah, it's been an incredibly clean run so far. And so that right there is called a Beyblade. What that is is basically if you spray while doing a spin, mm -hmm. Mario will start doing yeah. what's like a Beyblade. He'll start rotating around. And then... When you jump from that, you let it rip. Yeah. But no, he goes flying. Like, yeah. Okay, but, but yeah, this is the grass fight. Um, the red bird. I... There's a little bit of a debate in the community what to call this split. Some people say grass pipe. Some people say red bird. It's everyone's favorite vacation spot. Yeah. Um, I'm personally on the side of grass pipe. I'm, I'm a grass pipe enjoyer. Um, but there is a red bird in here. It's the only red bird. Uh, that There is a... I forget what the bird, the bird science is. Ornithologist? Is that the yeah. bird science? Um, there's an ornithologist in here who's been searching for the legendary red bird for, I'm going to say, 30 years is what the dialogue says. And we found him and just turned him into a coin. And so we just kind of, you know, ruined that guy's whole life purpose. Yeah, um, so that was the grass pipe right there. Yeah, that there. was the grass pipe right there. It's just, people really don't know what's there because it's kind of hidden. You have yeah. to go past the trees past Pinna. It's like, oh, what's this? Like, it's like, do they, new DLC? Yeah. No, no. It's just in the game. It's just fun. Uh, it's one of the, one tr or the, you know, the longer category exclusive ones. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Right now, I believe we're heading into... Oh, yeah. We're unlocking Serena by first getting the Shadow Mario. Usually you're supposed to go the other way. That's, yeah. Yeah, usually you're supposed to go the other way. That could happen sometimes. You will literally be on the opposite side of Shadow Mario it'll just and run, just go right there. Usually you're supposed to go away from you. Luckily, it's not that big of a deal because there's still a banana right there as well. Uh, we just have to walk a little bit. Not that big of a deal. Uh, we're going to get this pineapple, uh, which is just blocking Serena. Get this bluebird. With, you can just tongue with Yoshi. Just eat it up. And we're heading to Rico. Um, and Rico's fun. Oh, yeah. Rico's cool. It's just fun. I don't know. I wasn't going anywhere. That's just Good, fun. clean fun. Um, uh, we probably have some time for this. Yeah, Rico 1. We're going to collect some blues all the way around before we enter the Gooper Blooper fight. Uh, the Gooper Blooper fight is very simple. Yeah. Just spray him, clean him off. As long as you have your distance, he'll like slap. And then when that happens, he's going to be diving in, grabbing the nose, and just letting it go like the fight. Gonna be trying to do it screamless, which is where the blooper doesn't scream. Uh, pretty self explanatory stuff. So I'm just gonna let SP roll and get some more donos in. Sure thing. We would love to hear some more donos uh, for that glitch exhibition. We got $50 from Jmar834, who says, this run has been immaculate. Can't wait for all 120 shines to continue to brighten up this Thursday. Let's go GDQ. I've never seen this strat before. This is, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I've never seen this strat either. Usually you're supposed to go on a platform to raise this submarine up, like but SB is doing it from back here. I have never I don't even know what that. that. I don't even know what that thing is. <laughs> I, I don't even know what you just stood on. That oh, was the octopi. That was cool. The octopi. The that octo cool. things. That, yeah. Anyway, Rico's sick just because it's the way the jump she's fair out. Yeah. But yeah, this is the fight. It's pretty, it's just the fight, so keep going. Sure thing. Here's $25 from Fia Lily, who says, I finished playing SMS last weekend for the first time, and it's so nice to see how I should have played. <laughs> Amazing speed run. Thank you. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, uh, here's a hundred dollars from Green Mario, who says, "What's everyone's favorite Mario noise?" Mine is in this game when he's hit by fire and he screams, "Mama!" <laughs> it is good. That's a good noise. Mario has some good noises in this game. Yeah, I like Mario. The one, I like the one where you hit the B button and like he just like, "Uh." Yeah. <laughs> and he just like does a stutter. Mm -hmm. um, he like almost trips. 
I don't know, that's a funny noise. Anyway, that's Cooper Blooper. Um, pretty simple. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna see him again. Yeah, we're gonna see him again. Don't worry, he'll be back. Hooray! Uh, next up is Rico 2, it's the race. We're gonna be doing a blooper list. Uh, save the bloopers. Usually you're supposed to, uh, you know, take the blooper and it's a blooper race. We're gonna be using a blooper at the start because there's a blue coin on the water, but once we get into the tunnel, oh, we're think, gonna completely skip the blooper. I think we do a blooper list entry for this one and then we get it later. Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah, this okay. is... It doesn't really matter because we have to go back. Obviously, yeah. it's 120, so we have to do the Rico 2 hidden one, which is just literally the same shine twice. Mm -hmm. um, so we can get this... There's a blue in the water that's only in this level over the water, um, but it does save time to go without it. But because we only need to do that once, we're just going to save it for the next revisit and take some more blues on our way there to be a blue list, such as this one on the side of the ship um, and this X over here. Which and, is it's, what's really funny is that yeah. that X, it's super easy just like, you know, you can take your time with it. This X up here, the other, like, the linked one, you have to move. Yeah. You have to book it. Like, even top speed hover sliding, you, it'll still be blinking. Um, but yeah, this is the blue entry. We're doing a Y turn and then just hovering into the entrance. Uh, it's honestly one of my favorites. People hit on me for going for it because it only saves two seconds, but it's fun. Yeah, and but, so what we're going to do here is this is called blooperless race. Average Trey, again, shout out to Average Trey, has a video on the development of this. And basically what SB is doing is he's taking what's seemingly a weird route, but what he's doing is he's hitting invisible checkpoints to activate the race. And so that if you don't hit those checkpoints, you can't complete the race. And you have to get it done under a certain amount of time. And we're going to see SB here probably get around like a 17, 17 or an 18. 17, 75, nice. Yeah, very good. So while it looks like he's just doing random movements, he knows where to go to hit these invisible checkpoints. Yeah, at, mm, and yeah, the way the checkpoints work, uh, it, you just you gotta hit the checkpoints, it, but they, are, they overlap onto the little platforms, okay? It's not just you have to be in the water for the checkpoint. So because they overlap, we uh, use that to our advantage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rico 3, this Rico 3 is, is one of the hardest levels in the run. Yeah, it is. We got it. We, we need, we need, we need to let SP focus here. It's, it's incredibly time. difficult. It's one of the, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, we're going to be seeing another Beyblade. Yeah. We, we, let, oh, yeah, let's, we, we're going to let the master talk, okay? <laughs> It goes crazy. It does. <laughs> okay, so that was the easiest shot in the world. Let's go! Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah just, it's like, not If you have bad. enough speed, you can just hover through that and make it. Uh, I guess the cranes are in J, but yeah. it doesn't, yeah. Yeah, yeah that Rico was three. Rico 3. That was really good. Rico, and coming up is Rico, Rico 4. 4. Now, this level is interesting because if you've noticed in this game, or if you've played Sunshine, Slopes are not the greatest thing in this game. You can step on a slope, it looks like you'll be able to walk on, and you'll slide right off. And that's unfortunately an issue in Rico 4, but not for SB, because he's a gamer. Because it's the game. And so we're going to see some really, really flashy movement in this in this secret. And to people who may have just started speedrunning or have not speedrunning before, your mind is going to be blown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna and, see and another one, Beyblade right here. Yeah, another Beyblade right here to get a ton of speed and then doing these wall jumps up to the tower. You know what to do, crowd. <laughs> very, crowd. very clean. Shout out to the crowd. Thanks for all of you coming. Yeah, y'all are good. Sick. This is sick. Round of applause for the crowd, real yeah. quick. The energy in here is. Is, it's awesome. It's electric. It's awesome. It's SB electric. It's yeah, SB electric. So it's true. SB electric. <laughs> yeah. Like even <laughs> Pippi, during the doo -doo doos, Pippi the host, uh, yeah. we can we can actually see the host this time at this studio, which is really cool. Mm. Uh, it's just like dancing along. It's like <laughs> just seeing around the corner of my eye. It's like really cool. Pippi it's understood the assignment. Pippi understood yeah, the assignment. Of course, of course. But yeah, we go you. five. <laughs> this is just Cooper Blooper again. So going back to Pippi. All you. Sure thing. Here's $50 from Doc, who says, SB crushing this run. The blooper race was always my favorite. Shine get. 
Also, uh, got a couple for you that are um, oddly similar. We got $25 from Starry, who says, Shine Get. <laughs> got $20 from D Dial Wheezy, who says, Shine Get. <laughs> Another $5 from Era, who also says, Shine Get. We are getting a lot of shines. There wow, should we be are getting a lot of shines. 120 of those. Fact. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's wild. Yeah. How many? 120. That's a lot of shines. That's a lot of shines. That's a lot of shines. Do you have time for one more? Yeah, oh, go yeah, for it. Gone. Here's twenty dollars from Jake ZSR, who says, Ooh. "Thank you, Hex and Rocks, for serenading me throughout this run. <laughs> I've been Thank brought Jake. to tears several times. Good luck, SB." <laughs> 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 All right, next up is Rico 6. It's more blooper surfing, um, but this time we actually do need to take the blooper. It's on the water. Um, there's a way to do it without the blooper. There is. It is faster in game timer. Average Trey just made another video on that. He did. Uh, very recent, actually. Um, we found we were able to do tech storage with the red button. And yeah, I, I don't know how it works. We're not going to be seeing it today. Just. They shout to Noki Doki. Yeah. All I gotta say, the SMS scientist extraordinary at Noki Doki. Yeah, there's not not a lot going on for the shrine, so I think. Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can no, might as well. <laughs> sure thing. Here's $25 from Susan, who says, second time donating this week, as I have fond memories of my mom playing Super Mario Sunshine on the GameCube. Also, love the musical efforts from the couch. Uh, thank you. Real quick, one thing to mention, we choose the green blooper here because all the bloopers, if you just hold up on the stick, have the same top speed. Um, but this one's the best handling, and we just keep top speed of holding it, and we, uh, what SB's doing is moving it the direction by using the C-stick, actually. So changing the camera, but just holding up. Um, so kind of like monkey ball-y ish. Also, SB often do it for the counterclockwise route, which is faster. Yeah, which is the faster route. Uh, it is harder, but you know, for it's a pro like SB, it's, it's not an issue. It, it's, yeah, it's not that. The old route. Yeah, 129, very clean. Um, and then we're heading into Rico 7, which um, I'm going to teach you all a very quick Rico 7 yeah. method right here. You're going to jump to the left a smidgen. Yeah. Then you're going to run forward. And just when he jumps, you're going to spray. When he jumps, uh, you know, light R tap yeah. so you can walk and spray, and then he'll be dead by the top of yeah. it. Anyone can do it. Try That's it at true. home. You can Try turn on you your Wii right now. That's going to be doing dead. a harder method. Right? You're going to quick go? Uh, I'm just doing the normal one. There's no method? Oh. So that's Live tutorial at GDQ. Live tutorial right here, guys. I mean, I do a rollout, but... It's same, same thing. Yeah. Same thing. It's just faster. Movement, sh movement. See? Just gonna spray, and it's dead. Yeah, and then, so SP's gonna use the time for the shine to spawn to grab the spider, mm -hmm. and the spider, unfortunately, is RNG. You want him to be closer to the grate so that when you hit it, he'll die instantly. Yeah. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Yeah, not still right. Still got it. Uh, yeah. And we're out of Rico. Yeah. Uh, we're moving on to Serena yep. right now. And Serena is home to a lot of very difficult shines. Yeah. Uh, a lot of it, like heavy shines as well. And yeah, it's it's definitely one of the trickier segments of the yeah. I would say. It has, it has a really big chunk of RNG with the Manta King at the Boo. start and then King Boo. Everyone. Everyone who follows SMS pretty heavily knows oh, about this movement. Yeah, you it's don't cool. you don't get to see the Rico to Serena movement too too often when Serena's already unlocked. Oh yeah. Um, but it's a really cool. It's you, really cool. Movement. You see it most in '96. Yeah. yeah. It's it's mostly like a '96 thing. Yeah. I guess we should talk about the other categories. I guess. That's Obviously, true. Ninety percent. Be the game as fast as possible. Shout out to JD the Goat. Mm -hmm. A lot of people running that right now. Um, actually, to be a top level SMS runner, they're all it's. It's crazy right now. Yeah. But yeah, there's 90%, there's 96 shines, which is all shines, no blues. There's 79 shines, which is all shines, no blues, but also no Delfino shines. Yeah. So it's all like the level shines. And then there's all blue coins, which is a sick run. Um, and yeah, but they're, they're all really cool. Each of them have like, you know, GameCube 3D All-Stars. Um, and yeah, highly recommend getting to the SMS community. Yeah, no, it's awesome. People are sick. Um, but yeah, this is the Manta. This guy kind of sucks. Basically, the thing, his Phantom Mana, he is RNG. It's RNG incarnate. It's sort of, because you can still kind of manipulate it. Uh, every, you know, every time you spray it, it's supposed to be smaller pieces. Yeah. When all of them are in their small form, when there's no big, when there's no like, you know, big people left, they get into, they turn red and they start to chase you, which you'll see. Also, this level lags a ton, obviously. Yeah. There's so much going on. Yeah, so uh, SP didn't get the greatest split there, and so unfortunately he has to hunt down these bigger And there, pieces. red right there. Yeah. And once they're red, we're going to go get this blue all the way back here, because once they're red, they follow Mario. Yeah. Okay? So they're all just going to congregate at this corner over here, the, over the beach. And when we turn around and uh, keep going back to them, you're going to see just a giant party um, of manas trying to make our way over here. 
Yeah. yeah. So yeah. and then all FB is do is just gonna spam, spam spray, spray a little bit. You can see them all over here on this group, just perfectly laid out for him. And um, I just want to bring up something quick. So let's say you're watching SMS, but speedrunning really isn't your thing. I'm scared of what you're like, off Speedrunning is not really your thing. You, you like competitive, but you, you don't want to get into speedrunning. This game has a really, really active bingo scene as well, That's which true. is really cool. Bingo is they, really cool. They host bingo seasons all the time, and I've played SMS bingo before. It is a lot of fun. Yeah, SMS bingo goes crazy. Yeah. There's so many different variants. Triple bingo, lockout bingo, a whole bunch of different types of um, stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. so if you're looking to get into to competitive SMS, but you don't want to speed run, the Bingo League is really good. Yeah. If you just want to like just improve your, you know, stuff and just play some SMS with some with some homies. Yeah. Uh, we have 30 seconds. We could probably fire one yeah, or two quick donations. Yeah. Sure thing. Here's fifty dollars from Pinkish. <laughs> Shout out Pinkish. Shout out to Pinkish. Hey y'all, watching from home and missing you all. Shout out Sespi and best of luck. Yahoo! <laughs> Thank Shout you. Pink. Wish you were here. Do you have time for one more? Yeah, yeah go, go for it. Here is thirty-nine dollars and fifty cents from Drywall, who says, "My brother had leukemia, but has fully recovered thanks to advances in treatment." Heck yeah! And Pearl was my first game, so I just had to donate for the Diamond Pearl Glitch Exhibition. Yeah, make sure we get that, Matt. You're yeah. Matt. Yeah. That. I choose the goat for, for oh, a yeah. reason. Yeah. Thirty-nine dollars and fifty cents for the best Pokemon, Empoleon. I, I can't argue with that. I'm a Piplup lover. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm a Quagsire. That's, that's, that's like my whole thing. Anyway, this is Serenit 2. Usually you're supposed to use the boost. Instead, we're going to do that. Yeah. And now Serenit 2 is one of the most difficult secrets. Instead, we're just going to sing. Do 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 um, uh, pretty good, yeah. Yeah, it's been a decent awesome. run so far. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. I missed a couple blue coins, but we can just get those yeah, later. Yeah, just get those later. Yeah, yeah. We're all yeah good. not a big deal. Yeah, that's one of the cool things about this category specifically. Some people might not like it. I'm a huge I'm fan a of huge it. I'm a huge fan of it. Just um, if, you, it. if you need to, you get blue coins, you miss some, you have to improv and route on the fly. And it really shows an experienced runner versus a novice runner when they're able to route on the fly. Oh, yeah. Um, right, yeah, it, you can just see even in their splits. Yeah. Um, a lower level runner will have, you know, their blue coins in each split so they don't forget. SB's like, yeah, I have 217, I think I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is run of three. Usually, casually, you're supposed to go all the way around. You're trying to find a, a pineapple that's chilling somewhere that Yoshi wants. Instead, we're gonna take a banana, because as we've seen in this run, bananas are pretty broken. Yeah. Um, you, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's right it. There. Back to the entire level. Boom. And that's one of the easiest things you can do. Yeah. You can do it yourself. Just make sure, um, you know, make sure you're in the spray nozzle. Just make sure you're in the spray nozzle. Make sure you can't back from the hover nozzle. Hover nozzle. Yeah, that's okay. not something that a lot of people actually don't know. If, even some runners of the game, you no. can't backflip if you're in the hover nozzle. So you have to be in the spray nozzle. Just Kyle. Um, yeah, I think we have time for a little bit of donations before the secret. Real quick. Sure thing. Here's $120 from Chris, who says a dollar for every shine. Go SB. What was that? Yeah, so basically it's run of four. Um, it's in the casino. And what we're gonna be doing is skipping it. So yeah. obviously, if you know this casually, you have to spray it. The spray things go crazy. It's really hard. It's really finicky. Luckily, we can skip it. Yeah, this casino sucks. It's got it sucks. So yeah, we can literally just um, clip. Oh, but you're gonna see what it's gonna. He's gonna clip out of bounds and into it before he hit, reaches the pipe for the secret itself. Uh, first, gotta make sure we get some blues uh, in this casino area. You know, these are really important not to miss. If you miss these, you're, it, it's kind of rough. Yeah. Um, what's interesting is we're gonna see the Mario shuffle. Basically, he can sidestep, and for some reason, this sidestep is really conducive it's, to yeah. clipping out of bounds. Yeah, it's really I don't fun. know why, it but yeah, just does. It's simple as that, you're right in. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's all good. All good. Nice. 
You really don't want to ground pound there, because yeah. then you could just like go into the pit. Yeah. <laughs> just hold well, back. In the secrets, it's if you're if you panic, yeah. don't panic. If you make a mistake yeah. in this game, if you don't panic, the game will reward you. The game will reward you for not panicking, being able to. Speaking of rewards, welcome to King Boo. You want to explain that real quick? Yeah, we're about to be up all night for good fun. Yeah. Uh, it's this is King Boo. It's 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 the most luck based part of the game. There's a 33% chance that it goes perfectly. Yeah. I believe it's around 33%. That's not exact, but uh, it's around there. And basically, what King Boo can do is give you a fruit cycle or a non fruit cycle. And it's not a 50-50. <laughs> yeah. There's basically, the way it's going to work is, ideally, in a perfect world, you are going to get a fruit cycle, not a fruit cycle, not a fruit cycle, fruit a fruit cycle, cycle not, not a fruit cycle, cycle and then end a fruit cycle. cycle. We don't live in a perfect world. Yeah. There's a chance that after the mandatory fruit cycles, we get extras. We get and that's what's called an extra cycle. And because I am feeling it today, I will put $15 in for every extra cycle. My man. Oh. I'm done. Feel free to join us. If you guys, you know, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to put it towards that diamond pearl. Oh, yeah. Easily. Well, yeah. We got to be fast, though. <laughs> All right, so first cycle, fruits. That's a good start. That's good. Um, yeah, so basically the way this fight works, we need to throw the jalapenos at his tongue, not his body, his tongue, and then throw one of the other, other fruits at him. Um, where the fruits can, like, scatter is random, random. and you can have a bad spot of where the oh, peppers yeah. are. I've seen them both go behind King Boo, and it's an absolute pain to have to go all the way back around. Yeah. Right here is a mandated yeah. uh, non. This one doesn't count. We're talking yeah, about you're like, always so going to get an extra cycle, one, and we have to make sure he like King Boo like opens his mouth so we can cancel it. Uh, so he goes back to his hole. If you do that too early, we're still going to get one because like it didn't go through. Uh, I learned that the hard way. Uh, yeah, this is perfect so far. Second one, well, we just need one more. Um, fruit going off a little bit to the left. Yeah, well, ideally you get durians because no. instead of having to pick them up, you, you can just, just hover you, into yeah. them. And so them. durians do other uses. They're kind of a pain, but when they're they do other uses. They do. Um, and then um, another thing to mention is it is actually possible to skip those um, cycles, but it's like a one in, I don't even know. It's, it's like a high number. It's 164. Um, but in a perfect like run, you would do that twice. That's yeah. two 1 in 64s. Uh, average tray, of course, has a video on the King Boo fight, how it works. Zero. And that was a Zero extra. perfect. I'm still going to donate $30 anyways, but yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm down. 30 bucks. <laughs> two extra cycles, guys. Two extra cycles. Three bucks. <laughs> Just for doing two out of five. Yeah, another interesting thing that's that's really funny to see is if you throw the pepper in like the corners of King Boo's mouth, it's just gonna disappear. Like you throw it and it just disappears. It's always wacky whenever that happens. That yeah, you really need to hit the tongue. Mm -hmm. Do you have time for a few yeah. fruit-based donations? Go for it. Of course. Wonderful. I have fifty dollars from Strawberry Yoshi, who says, "Happy to be a part of this amazing crowd for my first time seeing this run in person." Clap! Hooray! <laughs> Let's go. I have uh, one more if you yeah, like go for it. it. Go for it. I've got five dollars from the King's Pride, who says, "Oh, banana." <laughs> wait, wait. I mean. Shine get! <laughs> Donation goes to the Diamond Pearl Glitch Exhibition. Yeah, something brief in this level is, uh, you've noticed SB is playing on the Japanese version of the game. The goal for this level is to clear the goop off the beach. And usually there's a little bit of a grace percentage where you can miss some goop. And on different versions of the game, it's around 95%. Unfortunately, on the Japanese version, it's about 98 or 99. Mm -hmm. So you cannot mess around when it comes to cleaning this goop. And unfortunately, there's actually something called invisible goop. So you can literally clean off the entire beach and still not have the challenge end because there's invisible goop left. So that's one of the downsides of running the Japanese version. Yeah, it's just the way the goop textures are. Like the edges of them are like almost transparent, so you can't even really see. Yeah, it's just because the Japanese version was the first version released of the game. Um, so there are a bunch of different little version differences uh, between Japanese and the PAL, the uh, North American version, the uh, North American releases. Um, the only difference between this level and episode 120 is obviously getting the signs, the sign there and these Nokis. Uh, those are important, obviously, episode exclusives. And, but yeah, there's some uh, weird version differences based on the language version you're playing. And Serena 16 one of them. But also loads. Loads are, um, I believe, slower on the, Jap or the Japanese version. I think so. I'm not sure. SB, you want to? In the, in the Japanese version saves like 
point six every Delfino load. So. It saves the time. I was thinking of the. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, the main reason yeah. it's used. But yeah, you can use both JP or PAL, both of yeah. them work, um, which is kind of cool around the same speed. Uh, another Shadow Mario Shine. SP's going to go for another quick kill. And what he's actually going to do is he's going to Oh, spray. you want me to go for the quick kill, huh? All right. Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm I mean, down. My man. Okay, all right. Uh, Let's do it. Easy. Not? And what he's going to do after is I'm pretty sure he's going to grab a linked pair. You know, those X's that are linked. He's going to shoot it from the top so that the coin spawns on the bottom while he's on the bottom. Yeah. So a little bit of an optimization. Yeah, so you're going to see it's literally just going to be like because it's not loaded in yet properly, but it's still there. So it's just like a black void, but you'll see like the effects of the... Um... Let's go! He got it! That was sick. But yeah, right here, we're just gonna go. You see the effects right there? It spawns right there, the triangle. So cool little optimization yep. there. Ooh, landing the water there. And yeah, we got time for donations. Yeah, real quick. Wonderful, wonderful. I've got $50 from Brian Edelman. Hooray. Who says, I'm a chuckster. <laughs> <laughs> also have $25 from Zaydan, who says, hello from the audience. Not really, but made you look. Aww. Lifelong lurker of this <laughs> event. Debated. First time I've actually donated during the stream. Donating to name Chimchar Piplup to mess with everyone. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you got I did. Yeah, we got got. Yeah. <laughs> I'm we, so we, sorry. We were waving. I was. <laughs> Do you have time for one more? Uh, real quick, quick, yeah. Here's $25 from Anonymous, who says, Hooray! Hooray! Loving, <laughs> loving the run and the commentary. Good luck on the rest of the run, SV, and let's unlock that glitch exhibition. We're 40% of the way there, y'all, and that's got to be met by the end of the run, and I know you can do it. So, um, right here... That where you're gonna get these little these wheel blues with these inside these walls. Noki has a lot of intricate blues like yeah. this that you're gonna see. Noki, Noki blue is, routing is really yeah. Good. And Noki, unfortunately, if you're playing this game casually, you don't have a fond memory. However, in speedrunning, this I think this level is one of the I, coolest. One of the most fun. Once you know what you're doing, it's one of the most fun for sure. Yeah. Uh, so you, Noki one, you're just able to move. You were able to see. You saw the spinjet wall kick. Yeah. Speed over. Literally nothing. We're able to hover before getting those blues. It's incredibly difficult. It's really terrifying. It's as scary as it looks. Also, that mole moves on a cycle that not a lot of people know about. Yeah, I didn't true. even know that until recently. Uh, we have a cutscene, so we can probably have one or two quick donations. Yeah. Sure thing. Here's $15 from Cherry Milk, continuing with the fruit theme, who says, Sunshine was the first game my father got me. I remember finding it on Christmas in the microwave. We <laughs> recently lost him, so this donation is in his honor. This run is absolutely jaw-dropping and has me yelling, Wahoo! <laughs> from home. <laughs> So what you saw there was something called, I like to call Monty Mole Space Program, <laughs> where he gets launched into orbit from the waterfall pressure. Mm -hmm. It's pretty funny. Monty Mole Space Program. Program. I like that. <laughs> yeah, the Monty Moles are, of course, incredibly dangerous to society, so getting yeah. rid of them as no, much we, as possible. They are what we call yeah. menaces to they society. They are menaces to society. Uh, but right here, Noki 2, um, usually there's Goober Blooper. But instead, there's not, because uh, we're going to be skipping him. Yeah. We're going to be using a spring up here, and the way it works is that you spray it, it shrinks, and then you place it down, and it gets big again. We're going to use that it getting big again uh, to extend Mario, to clip Mario inside this wall, so you can just go right to the room where the shine is. So right here, just going to dive down, and then... Boom. This, this is one of the one of the easiest clips. Is, it, it is it's, as it's easy very as it easy. Looks. Yeah, it's very easy. Just running against the wall. I would recommend not doing the dive that SP just did, because uh, that is very risky. But you can just hover over, um, and yeah, you skip the Goober fight. It saves a ton of time. Yeah, so this next level is called uh, Red Coins in a Bottle, and what, what's going to happen is we're going to familiarize ourselves with moving underwater, underwater in, um, in a submerged environment with Flood, and that's going to be used for the fourth level, which is Ely Mouth's Dentist. Ely Mouth Everyone remembers the eel. That's my buddy, Sean. I love yeah, him. Yeah, we love Sean. Sean's And so um, this, this level is not too much. It's just eight red coins. And so I think we probably can get some donations in during this level. Sure thing. Here's $100 from Snagglecat, who says, this has to be the most fun run I've seen on GDQ. Such a fun group. Much love. Shine get. Thank you, everybody. Thank for you. The I very... It's awesome. This, this is, is our first time on awesome. stage, so we're, we're, yeah. we're kind of geeking out about it. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, real quick, the underwater movement, uh, you're doing wide turns a lot, so being able to turn Mario's angle. Just because inside water, uh, the controls, you know, get changed. Uh, yeah. Flood works very differently than it does on ground. And so, yeah, just doing the wide turns and then doing the flood, uh, making sure, just getting these reds. Fairly simple stuff. Uh, we can get a couple more donuts in before we head into the deal. 
Sure thing, here's $50 from you from a small man who says, I remember first hearing the Mario dupe music while on hold, hold with Nintendo Power uh. customer support. <laughs> It sounds a whole lot better from the crowd all these years later. Keep it up, y'all. Collapse. Just claps for all, not one. <laughs> it's multiple shines. They're yeah, just stacking right. together. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I understand. Next up, Noki 4. This is one of the most infamous shines in the run. You have the eel. We have to clean the eel's teeth. What we're going to be trying to do is, even before we even get there, we're doing the clip to get that blue. Yeah, so this is called a, a zip. So what you're going to see is SB is going to clip out of bounds and use uh, finicky geometry so that Mario zips down. But what he's going to do is he's going to dive at the perfect time so that he's lower in the water, just like that. And so what he's going to do here is he's going to grab this coin that you usually have to swim for and then use the momentum from that slope to get into the eel's yeah, hitbox. Fit. This is a lot harder than it looks, yeah. but it looks and so freaking that, impressive. You, like underwater, when you're when you on like in the underwater state, when you're walking on something, you get hyper for some reason. That's why that spin jump wall can work against the loading zone. Yeah. Also, SB's gonna collect these blue coins. Usually you'd get them in Noki 8, but it's faster to do it before the eel. And since SB is a gamer, he's gonna do it now. And then we're gonna get into the really interesting yeah, fight. So, so can I explain it, yeah, I'll explain it because this is actually my favorite shine of the run. I love eel. Oh really? So yeah, I love it. It's so basically, eel works in cycles. There's eight teeth, four corner teeth, and then four middle teeth. When you spray the middle teeth, he stays up. But when you spray the corner teeth, he submerges himself. However, if you position Mario deep enough into the eel's mouth, the eel will close his mouth and not submerge. So it's possible to get all of the teeth clean without him submerging at all. And the way it works is we're going to try and clean off as many teeth as possible in the beginning. And however many teeth we get is the eel we're going to get. So if SB gets five, it's going to be called five tooth. If he gets six, it's going to be called six tooth. And then you're going to see Mario submerge in the eel's mouth so that it closes it and it skips this submerging part, and we're going to be able to beat this fight really fast. Yeah, and another thing is going to be going for at the end of the run, or at the end of the fight, is the cutscene step. On Japanese, it's actually a lot harder, or no, it's a lot easier on Japanese, right? No, it's harder. It's harder in Japanese, because you have the invincibility frames where Mario is turning red. If that happens, when you clean the last teeth, you skip the cutscene of, like, we remember to clean your teeth. Please remember to clean your teeth. Uh, and he just got right it there, right, there. right there. The that was clean. The last, last on Japanese version, so it's actually harder on this version than it is on the other versions. And that was incredibly clean by yeah. SB to get that. As you can see, the eel's going down, Mario's going down, it skips a lot, it saves a lot of time, so very well done for SB. Yeah. That, that was an incredibly good clean. Without that cutscene skip, you'd be spawned higher up and you'd have to like float yeah. down. And now it loses about 15 to 20. Now, except for the shine winning for us, we're, we're waiting, waiting for, for the, the shine. shine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was so. Let's get a round of applause again. That, that was, was so clean. Nice. All right, next up is Noki 5. It's another PNT smell race. Yeah. Um, this one's a lot easier because we're actually going to be getting the blues after we finish the race. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I think we have time for donations right now. All the exciting stuff is after the race, so we have time yeah. for one or two. Perfect. Here's $200 from Jensen's, who says, Huge thank you to all Mario speedrunners and GDQ. Our 15 month old loves watching reruns. Have to donate during SB run of Super Mario Sunshine, as it is her favorite video to watch. Extra $25 if we can get a hi, Freya. Hi, Freya. Hi, Freya. Hi, Freya. <laughs> I also have $10 for you from Darkrai3110, who says, shout outs to such cool people. Keep waffling, my man. <laughs> yeah, so, oh, uh, yeah, we'll cut back in. We'll get back to you, Pippi, don't worry. And I'm then, here uh, when you need me. Sounds good. And so this race, you know, usually in any percent, you would just wait by the flag. There is a little bit of incentive to go faster because we're going to be collecting these blues and we want to make Il Piantissimo wait for as little as possible. And um, yeah, so it, it does matter how fast you move. So we're gonna see SB get some blue coins while we're waiting. Pretty cool. It's nice to see just the downtime in this game used so yeah, it's just cleverly. Like literally, yeah, it's watching the movement, all the wide turns going yeah. around. Noki is so cool because yeah. all these blues are hidden in these ruins above everything, and you have to do these. Like, usually what you're supposed to do is go through all these different mazes and different, like, you know, hidden paths. Instead, we can do a whole bunch of different, like, you know, just platforming. Just to move on up and get them real fast. I, unfortunately, we the phrase, all good things must come to an end, 
unfortunately, this is the last secret shine where the Doo 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 crew will make an appearance. Yeah. So let's get everyone in the crowd yeah. singing for this one. It's wait, the last wait, wait. one. There's still gelato later. Yeah, oh, wait, you're thing. right. It's at oh, the end. Too. My bad. It's not true. My bad. Make sure you do gelato one last. My bad. <laughs> Special request. All right. Let's uh, still get everyone singing. We're still get everyone. We're yeah, about to have a while. Let's still get everyone singing. We're, yeah, this is not going to be, this is the last one for the next like hour yeah. or so. So, This is also, honestly, the coolest looking shot. I the love Coolest it. looking secret. This is one of my favorite secrets. Um, I have a history of the secret. First off, we're going to be, by the entrance, we're going to be doing ropes. Uh, it's called that because we're going to be going on rope. Actually, no, this is not 10% movement. I'm an idiot. We're going to be getting these blues first. Yeah. So these blues, you can get them during hundreds, but SB's going to do this here because he's going to do a different route for the 100 coin shine for Nuki. So he gets this, and he's going to use the height that he has to make it to the shell pretty easily, and it's pretty cool. So instead of having to like climb up, use the ropes to get there, we're just, you know, wall jumping up, getting some blues, because okay. we need to get them anyway. Uh, like this one up here that's way out of the way. Um, I honestly have no idea how to get that one casually. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, just doing a wide turn, you know, roll out into the secret. It's time. One last time for a little bit. Do, 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 he got out, uh, messed up there getting a wall jump, but it was a really clean backup. Yeah. Uh, that takes skill and effort to do. So it takes skill, it takes skill, and, skill and effort to do. do. And one ball. thing you'll notice is SB did not panic for a second. Exactly. And as we yeah. mentioned earlier, yeah. not panicking will reward you. Oh, yeah. That's not a message in Just for SMS. That's our message in life. Who wants one last quick kill here? Right, right. on. One yeah, last so quick one last quick kill. This one's the most important because if you miss it, uh, you will get away up yeah. into the ruins above. So we're going to make sure... Boom! There oh, we go. There's never an issue. So yeah, that's Nucky Seven. That was that was there. That was hype. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, we got one last stage left for first half, and it's Gelato. Yeah, and uh, Gelato is interesting because it has the biggest skip in Sunshine history. Yes, but it's actually it's less impactful in 120, but it's still very. Yeah. We don't have to do the one else. Basically, this is coming up Gelato Beach Skip. It is uh, in any percent. It's huge because we can skip literally go from episode. You know, one to episode, one to episode seven. seven, seven, like eight, and then go back to seven. And I know you're probably wondering, oh, well, you have to do all the shines anyways. Well, it does still save time in 120 shines because you skip those event cutscenes, and it's three seconds per cutscene. And why that doesn't sound like a lot, don't forget, we're skipping like six or seven shines, so that adds up it to about 20 up. seconds. And on top of that, when you do GBS, you're able to scroll backwards yeah. in the shines and do things in the order you want, yeah. which is important because we need to use later episodes to unlock nozzles needed to go fast in earlier episodes. So it's all so all of the routing comes with a full circle, and it's because of this trick right here. We're gonna grab this coconut right here. We're actually gonna grab two of them because we need the one on the blend, the blue coin in the blender. All right, we're gonna you know we're gonna throw it, you know, line it up there. You're gonna get this blue coin in the sand. Um, and yeah, so there's a super cool strategy we've been doing with both these coconuts. We're kind of going to be juggling them, throwing it over, having the bounce going over that. It's really, really risky. But look how that's perfectly centered right under that. Keep that in mind. That's the blue coin right there. He centers himself with the bridge. That's really important. Your angle has to be perfect here. Okay, gets the uh, blue coin, turns around, and this is GBS. Um, he's just, you know, lining it up, put it down, run against it, and this is all timing. Easy. Perfect. Yeah, very good. Anyway, hooray! Um, and then I think we have one last shine before the second half of the run. Yeah, Gelato 7. Uh, another Shadow Mario. Another Shadow Mario. L let's get some, before Corona Blues, let's get some quick donations in. Yeah. Sure thing. I've got $240 here from Pans, who says $1 for every blue coin in the game. Shout out to the goaded couch and runner. My mom is a breast cancer survivor, and I love what these events have done. Let's go. Shout out to GDQ. Yeah. GDQ is awesome. Shout out to GDQ and um, all they do. Yeah. Uh, my aunt herself is a breast cancer survivor, so it gives me a lot to me as well. Yeah. So.
I have many family members who are cancer survivors. Some some have lost their life due to cancer, but it's always amazing seeing what GDQ does for it's, it's cancer really research, and them just it's amazing. So we're going to have a brief cutscene where we see the Delfino Plaza flooded. So there's about 30 to 35 seconds where well, you can read a donation. Real quick, I do want to explain what's about to happen. It's Corona Blues. It's one of the most difficult segments of the game, okay? Uh, because we beat all the Shadow Marios in Episode 7s, we're, we're going to yeah. be heading into it. And this is the end of the event cutscenes, yeah. so meaning the second half is going to go a lot faster when it comes to traveling in between shines. And we're going to notice that when we get all the Delfino shines. Yeah. Um, but inside Corona Mountain, there are 10 blue coins, and obviously we need them. Um, so we're going to do them now, because we can't do them later. Uh, and we need to go into Corona anyway, and it's just right there. So we need to get the blues. However, they're on... Usually what you're supposed to do is use the boat. Yeah. And the boat is any, any know, yeah. player that has played the game. Um, you know... Yeah, it's it, not. It, it's, it's not. not it's not fun. good. Also, this is fast Corona. Yeah. Um, Let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just let him do. We're track the donation. We'll let SB focus for a little bit because this this movement is tough. Yeah. Barely diving, we hitting that, and I'm barely making this cycle right here. And then heading up is the boat. The boat controls very strangely. He's gonna be doing something called fast boat. Uh, it's when you make the boat go fast. Yeah, SP's gonna make this look easy, but no fear right here. Everyone knows that this boat does not control well. Maybe a little bit of fear. Um, so yeah, but look how fast it's doing these just to get these blues. And if this boat hits anything, anything at all, it will crash and burn okay. and float and you're stranded. Uh, usually, what you're supposed to do is use the boat and get all these blues. We're not gonna be doing that, okay? Instead, we're gonna be using the boat just for a couple of them, just for these four. But then we're gonna go back to the mainland and be collecting these just by hand. We're gonna be spin jumping into them. It is imperative not to miss the blues. Otherwise you're, I mean, well, I guess you can come back, but you need to make sure you start the hover after you collect yeah. the blue coin. Otherwise the blue coin tax box will cancel the hover. Yeah. And basically this just prevents us from having to use the boat. And it's also a lot faster. Mm -hmm. And I'm not gonna lie, it looks really cool. Oh, it looks so cool. But right here, we're gonna be using memory card strats, putting the memory card in, hitting continue, don't save, so the hover continues to be able to exit area on that right now. That was now. so cool. Let's get a round of applause. That was awesome. But right now, we're gonna be doing um, a, wall, a kick off that invisible wall, hitting right back into it. Piana, you saw uh -oh. that scene. Uh, unfortunately, you didn't get enough, but no big deal. Just do a little bit of Piana earlier right here. Probably a time for dono. Yeah, probably a quick little dono before we explain the reveal. Sure thing. Here's $20 from Queen Crobat, who says, Big fan of both Pokemon and Mario franchises, so I had to get in a donation. The Sunshine Run is seriously awesome, and you don't want to miss the Diamond Pearl Glitch exhibition. This is going to be wild. Let's get that incentive met and stick it to cancer. While we are halfway through the run, we're also almost halfway to that exhibition, so I believe in everyone. Tell me about your favorite Pokemon. <laughs> and why is it Quagsire? Anyway, we got Pineapple here. Yeah. Uh, this is Piano 100. This is the first 100 coin mission of the run. Uh, these are the 100 coin missions very intriguing. They're not like Super Mario 64 because it will kick you out once you get the 100 coins. Um, so what we're doing is obviously just getting 100 coins as fast yeah. as possible. And it's interesting because the routing for the 100 coins is so for some shines, it's very different yeah. between some categories where you get the blues and where you don't get the blues. And um, in like what episode you do them in. Everything. We do this one in Piano 5. The, that mushroom right there is yeah. really helpful for that because we get a bunch of coins from it. Yoshi and the bees, there's two sets of beehives, which also get blue coins. Um, and that's very helpful. Right here, is going to be doing a clip that is Japanese exclusive. Um, right, you're going to see it right here. Let him through. Got it. Boom. Easy. Yeah, that's very... Yep. That that ground that SP stands on is a massive kill plane, so if he, if he stays too long on the ground, he would die. So yep. that is a lot harder than it looks. The way out of bounds work, if you're uh, if you're standing out of bounds, you have, I think it's a second of, of yeah. if you just stand, do nothing, um, before it kills you, of like actually standing on the ground. So you have to make sure you don't do that. But yeah, so you just saw Yoshi clip through the floor after we got up, and we're gonna be, all of these just little ground pound sections getting a whole bunch of coins, getting a whole bunch of blues. Uh, and we're going to end it off with this beehive right here. Bees are interesting. Yeah. Because um, they can spawn blue coins inside surfaces. Yeah. I've seen these bees spawn this blue coin inside the tree and it clips through the bottom of the level. I've never seen anyone get those coins that cleanly. Yeah. That was, that was incredibly so impressive. Also, In exactly 100. That was, that was so, so satisfying. Good. Oh my God. <laughs> Another that thing was incredible. is, the, the amount of time those coins last is, you guessed it, RNG. It's, yeah, the bees, bees are interesting, but that was so clean. Yeah. That was incredible. Um, 
So yeah, the way the revisits work is usually there's around four-ish if we just do one through seven. Um, there's 100 coin in each level. Every secret has the red coin yes. variant. And some, there's just hidden shines within yeah. the level. And Piano's one of them where there's a hidden shine. Um, it's in Piano 8 with the fluff. Um, and you can do a really cool thing, uh, or a cool thing can happen. You can't really do it. You can't really predict it. Where the fluff can warp you all the way up. Yeah. Uh, and it's completely random. The fluffs, is, the fluffs are crazy. What we're going to see is SP is going to do the Pianta 8 shine right yeah. into the fluff festival. And this is actually one of the more interesting shines because it, having 8 red coins gives you a lot of routing freedom. But um, unfortunately, you're restricted by a fluff at the top of the level. However, you don't even need to take it. What we're going to see is we're going to see SB grab the rocket nozzle, and yes, he's going to do what's called a rocket storage, which we'll explain later. And he's going to make it so that that cycle doesn't even matter. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a lot quicker than waiting for that fluff cycle. And it's going to look crazy, and yeah. it's, it's going to be it's one of the craziest yeah. like strats here. You're going to be seeing rocket storage just a lot for the rest of the run. Yes, exactly. It is a massive mechanic. Um, but it saves by the bees there. <laughs> so yeah. much time. Those bees are terrifying. I, I've seen those bees be yeah. ruthless. Those bees, oops, can snipe it. Back at the momentum there. Yeah, when you have enough speed here, so we can make it um, up the uh, up the up the big tree in the middle. That's and you get this rocket nozzle here, um, and the bluebird that's right here with it. And yeah, the tree is weird condition. You can kind of just hover up it. Uh, not sure where the bird is. Yeah, these are why the birds would be a pain. Oh, he's trolling. Yeah, he did a little bit of tomfoolery there. <laughs> Doing rocket swords right there. Oh, oh it, ha fly. it happened! It happened! Oh my god, it happened! <laughs> it actually just happened. That's wild. That fluff just I'm gonna here. go over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That fluff just appeared there. Usually rocket storages, uh, yeah, you just saw him do the storage and be able to charge it midair again. Uh, he's gonna be falling again, this blue coin, wherever it landed. There it is. There it is. Uh, yeah. That was wild. I, I can't believe that actually just happened. No, that was... That is so rare. You can't script this. You, you can't, can't script, script this. this. Anyway, blue coin is the last red coin over here, and then you're going to see the giant rocket storage. He's going to store two rockets, um, and it's called rocket storage because you are storing the rocket. Yeah. You have that much. You have that power. And then we're going to just sidestep off the edge, dive, and where are we, where are we dropping, boys? Where are we dropping, boys? Right on the cloud, right that, in the That sign. was good. That is how it's... Yeah. Let's give them that entire section. The way rocket storages work... Um, so you have to start in, you have to start in sidestep mode, and uh, and then once you're in sidestep mode, switch to the rocket nozzle. You charge it, uh, and then there's a multiple different ways of doing it. Uh, but usually what I do is just like switch back right when it stops, right, and it stores it. And you have to be sure you're still in sidestep mode. You can't leave it. Then you sidestep off of a surface, and you'll go shooting upwards because that rocket is stored. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you can store as many rockets as your heart can tell. Oh yeah, you, you can run go out of water. Zooming up, there. It's, it's really cool. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, so and he only did two rocket storages yeah. there. That is really close. If your angle's off just a little bit, yeah. you won't make that, okay? But yeah, right now, yeah. we're back in Piano 5 because we're doing the reds here um, in the trucks for Secret. And this is a, a pretty interesting one because we have to, the way the Chuckster throws, Mario has recoil when you get, yeah. okay? And you have to make sure you don't have too much momentum for that like little tumble animation or there's like a wall behind you to stop it. Um, and you're gonna see why that's important coming up soon. But anyway, starting off with this red coin here, and then across it. We don't even need the chuckles for the most part, obviously, because we have Flood. Yeah. But Funny thing, that yeah, sign yeah. right there, that hitbox is so much it's bigger so than big. it looks. It, it's, it's so big. But anyway, this is what I was talking about. We have to make sure we have a perfect angle here to make it up here. Yeah, okay? that throw is so precise. It's so precise, and it saves time over then just going up to that platform to the left and then coming there. Um, so yeah, diving here, barely made to that platform, grabbing these two reds, then going over to... Um, over here and grabbing these last two reds here. And then all that's left in Piana is the hidden. Yeah, that was very clean. Yeah, that was, that, that was really right good. Um, yeah, yeah. no time, I think. Come on, yeah, you can get some donuts in before the hidden. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, wait for the uh, hooray. Uh, here's $120, appropriately, from Frozen Trolley, who says, awesome run and incredible commentary from the Wafflers. <laughs> hooray. <laughs> Also, here's $15 from Klizix, who says, my six-year-old asked what the goal was for the tracker. I told him that it's for charity, so the goal is as high as possible. He then asked to donate his money to help. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, that's, that's my awesome. go for real. That's my go for real. That's awesome. <laughs> that's my go for real. <laughs> that's adorable. 
Do you have time for one more? Yeah, yeah go, go for, for it. it. We're just going to head up here. Sure. I got $25 from Anonymous, who says Anonymous donates $25 with the message Anonymous donates $25, and they say Anonymous donates $25 with no comment. Anonymous donates $25. That's the $25 that Anonymous the, donates. Anyway, doing another Rocket Stories, getting up here on this platform to spray the sun. Um... Yeah, that yeah. was good. That, that was clean. Yeah, we have time for one more. Yeah, it's time for one more. Sure thing. Here's two hundred and fifty dollars from JD the Bud, who says more Pokemon glitches. All right. I agree. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot. I'm wearing my sunshine socks. They're not like sunshines, but there's like a sunrise on them. Look at the sunrise or the sunset. <laughs> I don't actually know which one it is. All right, moving on. <laughs> this is box game one. Um, the goal is to destroy all the, boxes. the boxes. It's actually pretty tricky uh, because what we're going to be doing for the ones that are diagonally, diagonally, SP is going to be trying to go right perfectly where they are and try to break both of them. Um, Oops. Didn't really get a name. Yeah, good. it's fine. So you just got to just break the boxes. Pretty simple. And then after this, we're going back to Bianco. Yeah, we're going and back. Bianco revisit is, 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 there's a lot of doozies. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. Bianco revisit is one of, if not like the hardest revisits because yeah, of just the sheer amount of levels. And, and difficulty. Yeah, and it's, um, you know, and for Bianco, you also have to keep in mind that in Bianco 5, we didn't get, yeah. like, you know, the blue coin writing goes different. So, you know, we didn't get them earlier because, you know, we'll get them eventually. Eventually. <laughs> so, I, we're doing Bianco 8 first, right? Uh, depends on if Yoshi wants coconut. Man. So, the, it's actually, this is another one of those things where Yoshi wants a banana here, um, and it's kind of RNG where... Play away for coconut. Where we do it, um, and or well, we, when we do a hundreds, because we want coconut uh, there because it's the fastest route to get to Yoshi, yeah. and because Yoshi's at the very front, we can see what he wants immediately. Yeah. So it leaves us free routing if we get bad RNG. Let's just do Bianco eight, and Bianco's interesting because Bianco six and Bianco three, the two secrets, you can actually revisit them and enter them in Bianco eight, and it's the yeah. fastest way of doing it. So you can actually you can keep doing it until you get good yeah. RNG or until you've run out of shines to do, uh, which is really cool. And right here, we're seeing Bianco 8, and this is notoriously one of the most hated shines oh in speedrunning. There is an account. entire Twitter account dedicated, dedicated to, to saying the that they hate this shine. And I'm not going to lie, I can't blame them. It's not that bad. Maybe after the 6 it's not that bad. And so we're yeah. going to see SB do a lot of uh, Y-turn That shot is crazy, right, yeah. by the way. The angle you have to have is perfect. And then right here, doing that, being able to get this red, the perfect timing of when to start charging the rocket, because he knows exactly when yeah. it's going to release, so we can dive, hit the Y button into the, into it. Um, but oh, yeah. bad cycle. Mm -hmm. That's OK. So you're grabbing it right here. Yep. Yeah, that was really clean. Mm -hmm. Super clean, Bianca wave. Yeah, heading back into Bianco. Uh, it's either going to be hundreds or it's going to be yeah. six reds. Again, it's hard to tell what shine's yeah. coming up just it's, because it's based off of the fruit It's based off the fruit you're going to get. Um, but yeah, Bianco. So the revisits, the reason the revisits are so hard is because the hundreds, you can lose time everywhere. Oh, Just yeah. a straight movement. Um, and that's why you, there's, it's so volatile. Mm -hmm. And the most difficult strats in the run, in my opinion, are the secret reds. Visual wants papaya here, so we're not going to be doing hundreds, so it looks like it's time for six reds. It's time for six oh reds. And this, this might be the, the coolest shot in the run. It might be the coolest shot in, um, in the run. Um, I'm going to let SD focus when yeah. we get to the secret itself. But, but um, what we're doing here is we're collecting some outside uh, blue coins just because it's faster to do it now than in hundreds. Because of the and then nozzle. he's going to also grab the rocket nozzle, and he's going to take that into the yeah, secret. He's going to be doing the secret with the... Yeah. This bird is being a pain. Yeah. Um, which is unfortunate. Yeah, another reason we hit the birds. Um, yeah, he's going to be doing the secret with the rocket nozzle, and it's going to look really cool. Look, yeah. When we get there, we're going to give SB serious time, but mm -hmm. it's faster, but it is so much harder. But SB, mm -hmm. bro is him. Bro is him. Bro is him. You're about to see if I bro is him. But also having a yeah. rocket nozzle here makes it easier to traverse yeah. just Bianco in general, because we can go up here, get the blue on this and the island over here, and then we can use the, uh, the rocket to get back over yeah. to the main area where the secret is, itself is. Okay. That's called a rocket rollout. If you charge a rocket and do a rollout, it'll kind of give Mario this like boost, like in yeah. the air, that keeps pushing him forward. Whereas with bit. rocket storages, you go up. Rocket mm -hmm. rollouts help with uh, like a nice yeah. trajectory. And that rock storage right there to land us perfectly on the yeah. coin, which is wild. And then we're gonna go back up here where this pokey is, doing some more rocket rollouts. So we have it. Those are so difficult, by the way. Yeah, those they're, are they're so much way, to way difficult. Just to be able to ma maintaining height is so difficult. Another wide turn to fall to make sure we land on this. Uh, and then using that little bit of water that we used to spray the blue coin to water. get over here. Ran out of water, not that in the world. Just do a wide turn walk. Right. We're gonna here. we're gonna have some serious time. Serious here. time here. 
you'll, you're gonna say we're going in. Rock here just skips that, but this is where this is where it happens. This is the magic. Not over yet. He's supposed to get the shine. It's a lot. It's not over yet. He has to do this roll out onto that because yep. it's all cycle based. Let's get around the oh park. That was so <laughs> that good. Was incredible. That was insane. You kind of explain what's happening there. He does a rocket storage mm. where the block is, the, yeah. you know, the auto scroller, where in the actual secret without flood, you have to take it. Yeah. We're do a rocket storage there to and maneuver in the air to get one red. We're going to spam maneuver past that to, and spam spray that little teeny tiny little crowd yeah. to make it big from the water. And we're going to land on it, do a rocket rollout off of it yeah. to get up to where the other uh, reds are. And that little platform completely over nothing. You have a rocket yeah. instead of like a, a jet pack. Yeah. And also, yeah. and also coconut. coconut. So perfect. That, We've been doing he got That's rewarded. He got <laughs> rewarded for being a gamer. No, it's crazy because there's so many little things in that that are so hard. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you're able to string that all together to get that just master class of movement is crazy. It's I wild. seriously can't overstate enough how hard that is. Mm -hmm. SP is practicing it a ton and a ton. it just, it it, just it, paid it, off. It's, yeah, it's one that's easily one of the coolest. Yeah. And then the last yeah. thing before we can read some donations, because we're just going to be collecting some coins. Mm. This is called a kinny slide, where you can dive while holding a coconut. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and it's fast, so that's oh, why we yeah. do it. Uh, and it looks funny. Found my kinny call up. Uh, there's a lot of people going to shout out. The <laughs> SMS, yeah. is, SMS has a lot of. Oh yeah. Has had a lot of help over the years to get aware it is today. Uh, sure. Donations. Yeah, now it's yeah. donations. We're just kind of chilling with you. Yeah. Donations it is. Here's $50 from Timo, who says, anyone else think some of the goop looks tasty, or is it just my intrusive thoughts? Yes, I agree. It kind of is like fudge-ish. My favorite one is the one in Serena, the one that looks like um, blue raspberry. We've actually talked about this before. This is not the first time. <laughs> this is not the first time about this. I know, it's just kind of scary. Common topic, the edibility of goop. <laughs> time for a few more? Yes. Here's $10 from Echo, the great owl, who says, need more love for blue coins. After all, the blue coins also let us shine get. It's true. It's true. Here's $25 from Damon's Bane, who says, hooray for Super Mario Sunshine. So, oh, one thing to mention about Bianco Hundreds. <laughs> These flowers are horrible. Like, oh, I, I can't, I can't, but th this too, these flowers, we mentioned how the water droplets are RNG, and the way you get those coins, which are necessary to complete, you have to spray all of them at the same time. Since the droplets are RNG, sometimes it just does not work. Yeah, another thing to notice, or to mention, is uh, sometimes in Bianco Hundreds, and this happens to... Oh, to no. Some others, if you're not careful, is the dreaded crack. Yes. So I just explain what the crack is. Yeah, I can explain what the crack is. So, games can kind of get a little glitchy during speedrunning. But I doubt you've ever seen a literal crack form in the screen. And that's what happens if, I, I correct me if I'm wrong on this, if Yoshi dies the same frame like you're spam spraying, there will be a crack that forms in the game. And if you spray that crack, the game crashes, which is one of the craziest yeah, things I've wild. ever seen. Uh, and, but you can, you can prevent it from, cr from yeah. crashing if you like spray around the crack. Yeah. But the way, if you're spam spraying, that's not happening. Yeah. Like you're gonna crash. Uh, it happened to me once in a six or two. That was fun. Um, it's it's just wacky. Yeah. It's just I, I don't even know how else to say it. It's yeah, just crazy. It's, it's just crazy. But avoided that luckily. Um, yeah. No, that was good. And that was an incredible thing, Bianco Hundreds. Just straight yeah. up. Like that, that was good. Bianco Hundreds is one of those difficult shines to oh, optimize. Yeah. It may seem, oh, you're just walking with Yoshi. No. You have to remember that because the shine is so long, you're losing time everywhere yeah. to a top runner. Okay? Oh, if yeah. You're just, yeah. So it's so difficult to optimize these longer, these longer yeah. 100 coin type shines. Um, Nespy's doing an incredible job right now. Oh, yeah. Espy's, Espy's doing very good. That was, that Bianco entirely was just really clean. And we have one more shine. Two more. Oh, we have two more? Yeah, we have, no, we have three more. Three are and one. Oh, yeah, you're right. My bad. <laughs> Two is just spicy three. That's, that's, that's what true. I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to do the three secret, and then we're going to do what's interesting is we're 
pretty much almost two hours into the run, and we're going to be doing the first shine in the game. That's true. Bianca that, wanted that to do it after Bianca 3 r because uh, we were able to skip it at the very beginning. Oh, we yeah. do that because of event cutscenes uh, to get the Corona as fast as possible. We're going to be doing it now, and it, uh, I think it saves like barely any time doing it oh, now yeah. than in the beginning. Because like you have half to a second or Yeah, because you have to scroll all the way back in the shine gut screen. Listen, that half a second, it makes it a may, difference. Hey, listen, if you did Bianca 1 early, you wouldn't have gotten record. So true. Mm -hmm, yeah. So, Bianca 3, doing these rollouts over these boxes on a cycle, incredibly difficult. Oh, yeah. Um, there's actually a way to do this with the turbo nozzle. Um, it, it, which is like, it's been done RTI, yeah. not in like a run, but like, you know, just keep it in the aisles of it. But um, it's like mostly task-wise, it's crazy to watch. It's one of the coolest ones. Still in the lab for future. For the for, for future, for next time. Listen, we saw the Bianco 6 rocket revs yeah, so a couple of years ago. It was like a fever dream that yeah. that would be done in a marathon. That's true. <laughs> uh, but yeah, next up is Bianca 1. All that we have to do is kill the original, the first blue color planet. It's the same as the Bianca tower at the very beginning of the game. Uh, we got to get a blue coin that we're going to be, you know, trying to get. Yeah, the, the one little thing about but the blue coin is if you grab the blue coin before the cutscene starts, you'll spawn back. Yeah. Uh, it's otherwise, just like the jail yeah, cell. One just like the, the jail cell. The um, the, like the, it's just like the same, the, the very first yeah. blue coin. But other than that, not too much going on. Pippi, up to you. Sure thing. We have $20 from Kyan, who says, currently studying for my game design master's degree, and the ri vibes for this run are immaculate. Let's go, SB. Shine yet. Hooray. I also have $100. Thank you for the praise. <laughs> Here's $100 from Luigi, who says, for the record, I was invited to Delfino, but I was busy looking up mansions on Zillow. I think I found a winner. Mario's gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. I'm proud of Luigi. I, th I, think, uh, I think he's got a career ahead of him yeah. in, in mansions. <laughs> Time for one more? Yes. Of course. Here's $25 from Anonymous, who says, I wish Rox and Hex could give commentary for my life. They are the <laughs> best hype crew anyone could ask for. <laughs> So we're done with Bianco. Um, uh, yeah, it's... <laughs> yeah, no, that's great. Yeah. Um, where so, are we going next, SB? Uh, the harbor. Yeah, we're going to Rico next. Um, so Rico Revis, it's interesting. Usually we do Rico at the very end of the yeah. run. Most 120 rounds do Rico at the very end of the run because the blue coin hut where you trade all your blue coins is right at the, the corner there, okay? Yeah. Except we're doing it now. We're doing it pretty early. Um, and... You know. No, it's good. Yeah, the it's good it's because uh, one thing that we're going to mention is Rico 8 is called The Fruit Machine. Yeah. It's, and it is random. RNG. It's completely random. We need a durian. We're not doing it now, yeah, but I'm going to explain it yeah. so that when we get there, we'll know. We need a durian for Yoshi. Yoshi usually asks for random fruit. In this level, he'll only ask for a durian. And The Fruit Machine is random. And you can get anywhere from no extras to, I'm pretty sure the, the record is like, like 17. 17. So, Gee, I wonder who has that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can literally get up to 17 extras, and it's it's at the end of the day, it's really not even down to you. So it's yeah. cool that they do it earlier, because it sucks it when good. you some get people, to the end of a run and you have to do... Yeah, some people, even though it loses a couple of seconds, yeah. some people um, opt to do Rico 8 in first half yeah. just to get out of the way. And yeah, it only loses a couple of seconds doing that and you get the RNG out of the way. So you're not like on PP pace, then you get like 48th try Durian and then, yeah. Yeah. But right now we're doing the 100 point shine. And this level, there's not really going to be any insane skips, but it's yeah. just such a it's movement just like, masterpiece. It's just clean movement after clean movement. Yeah. We're going to get a whole bunch of blues. That's, obviously, we're getting going around getting yeah. regular coins. We're going to be getting a lot of blues as well. Um, but we're going to be getting the rocket coming up soon. Uh, this crane is actually completely random, uh, how fast it goes. Oh, oh no. unfortunately. Not too big of a deal right here. Just got to get up. Did we miss um, Sewer Glitch? No, I just didn't get oh, this no, guy. Yeah. Just get him now since I'm waiting anyway. Mm. So, the way Sewer Glitch works, if you jump in the sewer, your hitbox Changes. becomes really wonky. Yeah. So, you're able to just run into spiders. Yeah. But usually you need uh, at least the one on the wall. You're, usually you need Yoshi Ball. You can just touch it and it just dies. Same, and you're gonna see some enemies that we're gonna interact with. It's gonna be a little different than you're normally gonna see, or than you normally see. Also, this is a new ish strat right here. Using that little trampoline to get over here. Um, yeah, the sewer glitch, it's one of those things where it's like blink and you miss it. It's so obscure that like, y you really need to shine some attention to it. Yeah. 
I and think we're, yeah, like, we're just collecting coins. Just collecting coins, just moving around, getting some blues. Not too much going on. Pippi, back to you. You've got it. Here's $50 from Alex, who says, Mario and Pokemon, it's a game or a day full of nostalgia. Please put that $50 towards the Diamond Pearl Glitch Exhibition. Less than three. Less than three. Yeah, keep going. Sure thing. I've got $5 from Arcana XIX, who says, SMS is one of my favorite speedruns to watch. Awesome run so far, and good luck finishing the rest of it. Putting this towards that Diamond and Pearl Glitch Expo, Turtwig Enjoyer, checking in here. Yeah, so that was the application That's, of yeah. the sewer glitch. You literally just walk right into him and he dies. It's, it's, you would usually use Yoshi, but... Yeah, that was found on a complete accident, uh, I believe. A long time ago. Oh, yeah. 2014 type. Um, and yeah, so... Yeah. It's cool. Uh, yeah, that's Rico Hundreds. Usually you do that like at the very end of the run. Yeah. And this is one of the few routes that don't. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, Pippi, we got time for one or yeah. two more. Sure thing. Here is $50 from Full Metal Pharmacist, who says, I have loved GDQ since my roommate freshman year at Pitt introduced me to it. This year, we finally were able to attend and volunteer in person. In our hometown, this Mario Sunshine run is electric. Thank you to everyone at GDQ for creating such an amazing event to benefit an even more amazing cause. Yeah, this this location of this event is, is yeah, really no, it's cool. Good. It's like, the hotel's sick. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I have one gripe, but that's my bathroom's door's kind of broken. But that's about it. it, it uh, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, right here we go. Rico eight. Rico eight. This is all the right. machine. I will I will uphold my my King Boo gamble where I'll yeah, do too. fifteen dollars. I'll do no not fifteen. Okay, hang on, hang on, hold up. I'll do five dollars for every extra. Five dollars. Actually, you know what? That makes sense for this one. Five dollars for this one. Extra. And yeah, let's let's do some counting with SB guys. One. One. Banana's the worst. You don't want to see that because you have to knock it out of the way because of the banana's hitbox will kick the durian off of it. Two. Two. Three. Yeah, you really just can't do anything here. You're just yeah, waiting. <laughs> Four. All right. Listen, okay. and we'll take it. So, actually, we only need Yoshi uh, for... Oh, my God. Oh, we actually only need Yoshi for this butterfly, or these butterflies right here. That is the only reason we need Yoshi yeah. um, for 120. In the 96 run, which is no blues, what we do is take a rocket. We get the rocket nozzle, and we take a coconut over here, and we uh, do a rocket storage strat, strat where we can hold the coconut while, you know, getting zoomed up yeah. with the rocket storage, and we clip in with it. We don't even need Yoshi. Um, yeah, we're gonna really see cool. Yoshi destroy the the craft mac and cheese on top of the on top of yeah, the grate. Yeah, the craft mac and cheese here. Mario's lactose intolerance. He he can't go in. Um, also, another thing to mention is it's nice to have Yoshi here because his spin jumps. Would you like to do Yoshi clip? What's that? Would you like to do Yoshi clip? Sure. Sure, go for it. Easy. Yeah. Let's go! <laughs> that was sick. Hooray! <laughs> yeah, no, that was sick. And then um, you're usually supposed to spray the fish and ride the platform. Bro, ain't nobody got time for that. Bro, we can just jump, the, that jump that, yeah. the platform. <laughs> uh, yeah, next up we have four reds. Yeah. Here we go, four reds. Um, this is one of the more difficult red coins ones Definitely. for sure. Uh, just because obviously the entire thing is cycle based with how it's spinning. And if you just get off just a little bit, yeah. um, it's it can be GG's. But yeah, Rico 4, Rico 4 Red is definitely one of the yeah. more notorious ones. Again, having Flood definitely makes it a, a bit easier. But you know, when you're at SP's level, every shine has just these actions per minute that are just above comprehension. Yeah. So there is really no Not getting like, cycle, like, that's good. a few like easy shines, but it's like two or three. Um, um, you probably have time for some donations. Real quick, I want to shout out my friend Exprelli. Because <laughs> we call when you hit the red coin and then jump and then dive into the pit immediately. Uh, Exprelli cycle. So shout out to Exprelli. <laughs> He's another SMS runner uh, who's been recently grinding the game. Yeah. Just got, just got a 327 on it? Yeah, 327. That's, that's, my, that, yeah. that's my guy. That's my goat. Yeah. There's, it's really cool to be SMS right now at all levels. It's yeah. popping up. Yeah. In 120, 90%. 120 is with. The top three runners are grinding right now. SB, Nanashi, and Shadow Mario 27, all grinding 120, all doing runs. Like, I feel like some one of them three is live at any yeah. point during the day. It's kind of wild. Um, we have Akane, who's grinding for sub three. She's got a 3008, um, which is a newer runner from Poland. 
You have um, Dex and Blaze Roller grinding. Yeah. You have Juka grinding. Clay's back on the grind. Yeah. Shout out my man Thorn. Thorn. <laughs> no, it's, um, it's cool. This, me, this game's yeah. so active. Like, like it's... Everyone says, "Oh, sunshine, dead game." No, nah, they're wrong. No, they're they're, done, they're, they're they're not cooking, bro. They're like it, it is, it is, it is alive and is better than ever. It and really is. Any level that you're at, you'll find someone to to grind with, oh, and it's yeah. it's just so cool. Shout out to Ink Star, who's grinding yeah. for um, record. Yeah. Tuba Tobo's back, grinding for 112. The legend. Yeah. It's wild how many people are just been back on the grind. It's really cool to see. Anyway, uh, we're back, in Rico. Uh, or Rico 2, because we have to get this blue coin over here. We're actually taking the blue for this time. Uh, just for the, you know, the one blue. Yeah. But we're doing the race, blue blitz by itself. You know, just same thing as we just saw before. It's li literally the exact yeah. same. I think we just, like, the timer's easier. It doesn't, no problem for us. Take it away, 50. Yeah. Sure thing. Here's $50 from Little Baby Gator, who says, Happy GDQ. This event is legendary, and so should be the Halo Run. Reminder that we do also have that Halo Run incentive open. Let's upgrade that to legendary, shall we? We also have $10 from Crazy Comics, who says, hello from the crowd. Absolutely loving this M uh, SM Sunshine run. This is my first in-person GDQ, and it has been amazing. Massive shout outs to the runners, commentators, tech, and crew. Donation goes to the Pokemon glitches. Clap, hooray, and wahoo! Hooray! <laughs> wahoo! <laughs> wahoo. <laughs> Real quick, if you donate from the cloud, cloud. Crowd, we will wave. We that will. That's a promise. We will. Um, anyway, we're done with the recap. So what we're going to do is diving over. We're going to have to get the coconut lady over here. Um, so, yeah, the way this coconut lady, it's, it's just kind of really far out of the way. Yeah. Uh, it'll be very finicky, though, because obviously coconut, they're, they're spheres. It's, yeah. They roll. And yeah, so can roll SB's going to yeah. spray be very it careful. like very, very lightly and hope that the water particles mm -hmm. end up knocking them yeah, ever that so slightly. that one's kind of on the run, but able to save it. And it's also very important not to miss the throw. Yeah. Uh, but SB, SB's course, balling. Look out. He's, the ball. balling. He's just a baller. Yeah, he's basketballing right there, yeah. But yeah, heading back here. There's a blue coin inside the sewer we got to get. And then we're going to be heading back in for the Pina revisit. Yeah. It's actually, I think, the shortest revisit. Yeah, definitely. Because we did Pina, Pina, tar, Pina to Reds earlier. So we don't have to do it now. Um, so it's just literally just hundreds, eight, and then um, six reds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's definitely... But it's still very difficult. It's definitely... It, it, it's short, but it doesn't lack difficulty. It, it does not lack difficulty. Um, uh, you're going to see one of the infamous casual shines, the roller coaster balloons. Yeah. And unfortunately, like, it's a little easier for speedrunners, but we don't enjoy it any more than you do. At least I, I, I'm speaking for myself on this one. Hey, uh, I, I don't hate it that much. I, once you yeah. get good at it, it's not that bad. I guess, I guess, I guess that's on me. My bad. Yeah, it, can, it can troll every once in a while. Yeah. A little bit of trolling. Yeah. Um, there's that, currently, there's a like Kaizo hack out yeah. right now called Super Dude Sunshine. Um, made by Wispy King. And it is, I was watching, shout out to Seti, Seti with it, yeah. uh, who's a very good runner. runner. Um, I was watching him play it at, uh, not too long ago. And this shine specifically looked yeah. immensely cool. It's rough. It looks so bad in a Kaizo hack. Um, yeah, one thing to mention about the rockets that we didn't mention before is there's something that happens on the GameCube game, uh, GameCube Wii version, which when you shoot the rockets, what you want to do is you want to slightly hold down the trigger and then click it. Because if you don't do that, the rockets will just spray in weird directions. So that's a small thing that yeah. I bet if you didn't know that casually, now you're like, oh my god, really? Sense. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, the rockets are very finicky. You actually, and it's a lot easier to tell now than in Pinnacle One. There's so many more rockets. If you spray the rockets earlier, like you don't have to run into them with the track. You can spray them with Mario's yeah. blood. You can see this right here. Boom, got the rocket. Wasn't even close to it. Just sprayed it and you get it. Um, so SB is going to be trying to yeah. getting the rockets as early as possible and then being able to shoot them as early as possible. I unfortunately did not have the best uh, <laughs> balloons here. Yeah, they're very tricky. Sometimes you got to pull some Joe's truck shots. And yeah, shout out, shout out to Galaxy. Shout has out has probably the best snipe I've ever seen on this. Yeah, that was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that's it. That's it right there. Um, yeah, that was pin eight. Mm -hmm. Pippi, we probably got time for one or two. Sure thing. Here's a quick five hundred dollars. Let's hear it for that from Luca, who did not leave a comment, just left a lovely amount of money for us. Thank you very much. Thanks, Luca. That's, that's I don't know if you're saying it's Luca, but there is a Luca. Yeah. That's what I got. <laughs> Do you have time for one? Yeah, yeah keep going. Yeah. Here's $25 from Shine, who says, get 
<laughs> That's wild. Uh, up next, we're doing pin 100s. Yeah. 100? Okay, let's do it. So pin 100s is, in is interesting because yeah. we're just doing a pin of 8. Uh, the way it is, we're just getting 100 coins on the beach. Yeah. Okay. There are so many coins on the beach. It's like, wild. It's crazy. And with Yoshi, uh, we can eat the little the stews and yeah. they get five coins each too. The butterflies give a ton. The sunflower gives a ton. And literally, so there's a category, a category extension. There's so many mean category extensions. That's wild. Um, called True All Hundos. It's not just getting every 100 coin. Yeah. It's getting every possible 100 coin in every episode yeah. that you can get. So if you can get 100 coin in an episode, it's that's the, the goal. It's in the run. And the way it works for Pinna, every episode, you have to do this eight times. Yeah. Just it, it, it's, it's a little repetitive. It's a little bit. So shouts to the only person crazy enough to get really good at it, Sided Williams. Sided Williams, uh, baby. The goat, Sid. Um, he was also very good at 96 and 79 yeah. runner. And yeah, but <laughs> it's a wild category. Oh, yeah. You can do, there's so many different routes depending on what shine you do. And they're very useful to learn from Bingo as well. Um, but it, yeah, it's... So something like the uh, uh, Noki, yeah. you can do, or Gelato, you can do Gelato 300, Gelato 600, Gelato 100 maybe, I don't know. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure you can. You can do, yeah. But that's the category, again, yeah. all of those possible. Uh, it takes like four hours if you're really good. Um, and you have to just, there's just a split where it's just doing this eight times. Yeah. And uh, what's interesting is, so we had to unlock Yoshi with fruits, and it's RNG. And if you, there are two of each fruit on the beach. If you run out of those fruits, you can't unlock Yoshi. You literally have to just reload the level, no. which is interesting because the worst one you can get is coconut, and it's literally right on the edge of the beach. And if it rolls in the water, just as unlucky spray, you are literally no, just get it's just, rolled. It's over. And um, I think we're going to see the crate clip, right? Because I don't think you got it during the Yes. yes. Yeah. Yep. So we're going to use Yoshi here, and we're going to use Mario to clip into this box. And this skips having to use a bullet bill from before. Mm -hmm. and yeah, because you can just clip into the side, just yeah. using a side step. Like we mentioned earlier, side steps are very helpful yeah. for clipping into objects. If you now, get lucky enough, you, you can use a purple bullet bill to get that. But, um, you know, it's always a good backup. No, oh, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and the next up is pin a six red, just another very difficult one. Oh, yeah. Um, you have to, you know, we're, we're visiting our friends the dice block. The dice block. The dice the block. Dice. <laughs> the cow block. I don't know. What, whatever. I, I call it the cow block. <laughs> the cow. <laughs> You'll see what I'm talking about. I, I swear I'm not crazy. What color cow is green, red, and blue? There's one, I guess the black one is a Yeah. Cow, I, guess. I think they're just quirky cows. I think so. Hit, listen. The Yoshi egg blocks. There's so, there's so many names. So if chocolate milk comes from brown cows, then what do the green cows give off? Like matcha? The shamrock shake from McDonald's. That's Sham what they give off. <laughs> All right, we're right here. Uh, we need Yoshi again to uh, get the secret, so we're going to see the RNG. Uh, oh, hey, perfect that's RNG. Good. Yeah, that's good. We like the papaya because obviously it's the booger, so. It's right there. Yeah. I'm going to be doing something called Dith Strat. Shout out to OG Dith. Where you spray that before going to Yoshi. It saves a little bit. You can also do that with pineapple. It makes pineapple a little bit less bad. Yeah, being able to get the blue, and then we're heading right into the secret um, for getting the reds. Yeah. Uh, most of the reds are actually at the later section yeah. in that block puzzle, um, as you'll see. But it's yeah, also a very tricky movement because you can't yeah. just like do the block puzzle because you have to be where the reds are position-wise. You can't yeah. just like, oh, I'm over here and I'm getting the red. You actually have to like get the red. They're they're actually very small hitbox-wise. They like, are. Like, it's, the coin themselves are as well as what I'm saying. The coins are very small. So what I mean is that there's two like reds here. You see that red right there that's just chilling uh, in between. You have to make sure you're right in between that block and you have to get that coin. Um, so you have to be very precise with your movement here. Basically what I'm trying to say. You have to be good at the game. SP and SP is very, good, very at good at the game. Um, He's actually the best not. in the world at the game. At this, I, yeah. yeah. At this awesome. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, not too many people are actually like. Um, so, I guess we should, maybe we can talk a little bit about the difference between All Stars and GameCube now. Go for it. You're the one who run on All Stars. You're you're just a you're ball waffling. of knowledge. Uh, okay. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> so, it, the main difference between it is there is a little bit of more input delay on 3D All Stars, mm -hmm. and along with that, it's widescreen. And it looks a lot better, but when it comes to speedrunning, you're not going to see many people on it the It is faster at 8%. It is faster. It is. It does load the plaza faster, and you can use the fastest language. It's so just one of those things where, like, are you willing to sacrifice the input delay? No. Which, it's, it doesn't seem very bad. 
from experience, it's pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, it's... I think if you start... Also, this is uh, box game too. Otherwise, I like to call it Detroit. Um, yeah. But very clean. We got out of Detroit very nicely there. Um, <laughs> anyway... Yeah, this is the start of the Dolphino section. Yeah, this is the what what SB called the gauntlet. The, the gauntlet because there is no downtime. There is no downtime, um, and it's also very tricky. It's very tricky, um, and yeah, but it's very it's, it's the most fast paced part of the run is this Delfino gauntlet right there. Starting with the box game too, uh, but we're heading here. We're starting with the rocket ones, uh, right bell to start with. I lied. <laughs> We're just starting. Oh boy. We're starting off with Jelly Skip 2.0. This 2 .0. is Jelly Skip 2.0. This is my favorite thing in this, the run. This is, yeah, this so, is crazy. Basically, what you've noticed is the additional route. We did Jelly Skip before, and that means we don't unlock Yoshi to destroy the jellies. And that's the same thing here as well. So, what we do is we clip out of bounds to grab that. And I'm going to be clip real. He made it so e Like, he made it look so easy. And the rocket is so up hard. there. Oh. oh, barely too low. That, listen, yeah. we'll, we'll take that. That That is so much harder yeah. than and it looks. And timing this ground pound that he just did so he falls to the ground faster so it starts the shine get animation yeah. faster is incredibly difficult to time. Oh, yeah. And yeah, perfect. No, right that, was awesome. that was that, awesome. Let's, so get let's get around of applause for I don't think you guys understand how difficult that is. No, that is, that that is, is tough. incredibly difficult. And the rocket rolled out additional oh, to yeah. get on top of the lighthouse to do that is wild. No, it was great. But yeah, that's Jelly, that's jelly Skip. And we're starting going next with the probably the next most difficult thing in this is the banana clip. Uh, so that pipe over there is inside is the infamous load that shine. Uh, usually what you have to do, and we're getting these coins for a reason here, and we'll get back to that later. But usually what we do, or casually, you have to get Yoshi, take him on a boat. And it takes literally forever. It's, like, it's, it's, it's the most painful thing. Years of your life wasted like, if you it's, try it. It's, it's, it's so it's bad. Literally just despair. Yeah. But what we can do instead is take a banana, as we've seen, are very good for clipping. Do a little wide turn spin here, so we stay in the same place. Clip right in. That was incredibly. Yeah, no, that right was there. good. That's so difficult. And then now we have the but actual level. Absolutely bad shine, and just just let him do his. Let, thing. let him cook. So just let, let him cook. cook. Just let him. Let the chef cook. Doing a rollout there was wild. Yeah, that's that rollout there was. So, it, it's, I, that was hype. I, that was no, good. I, that was sick. He made that like as anyone, any casual knows. Yeah. That loop had is so difficult yeah. to control, but he made that look effortless. That was very well done. Mm -hmm. So, another banana. Nana, another another another, na another, banana, another clip. banana clip. Right here is the Chuckster shine. Uh, but instead of actually paying the trust chucks, we're actually going to use this banana to uh, get inside the, where the shine is. Uh, there's a couple different strats. This one, we're just going to use the banana right inside. Easy. Smooth like butter, baby. Smooth, Smooth like, like butter. butter. Smooth like butter. You know it. Yeah, see, as we've seen, this Delfina gauntlet, it is yeah. a gauntlet, as you can see. Back to back to back clips right there. And it's not getting any easier right here with the pachinko machine at all. Oh, uh, the pachinko gonna, machine. Pachinko. We're not going to be doing it normally, though. We're going to be doing... Uh, just let him cook. Let him cook. Just let him cook. <laughs> Real quick, doing a quick little hover there to be able to um, hit all of them. And then refreshing his hover on this using a dive, using that quirky momentum. So he was able to get so many of these before him. He got seven of them. And if you fall at all, you die. Like, yeah. you're just done. No, you're it's, done. It's, it's, it's over. It's, you're so, it's over. Uh, but... He's able to get that. We are so barack, dude. And he hits him up. That all. that was just money, <laughs> money right that there. Was, well, he still got the got the shine, but easy. Yeah. Oh my god! Easy. Give give him give him that round of applause. Hooray! Hooray! Now this this Delfino section, like, it's it's hard. It's and so It's just difficult. crazy because it's also close to the end of the run for SB. So you have to do it's all of this while you're like. If you're on pace, right you're here. nervous. Mm, that's just the fast shine in the game. Yeah. Just got the turbinels to go inside. That was the hardest shine. Yeah. Oh, no. That was rough. <laughs> yeah, that was really difficult. Ugh. Uh, yeah, but it's it's just so fast paced. Oh yeah. Uh, usually, like you know, you have a break if you go back inside each level. Do a little cutscene like da 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 da. No, you just go right here. We're getting the gold bird house of um the former all blue coins 3D all stars of record holder Joe Cool. This is his favorite shine in the game. Um, Love it. Yeah, so basically, 
what you're intended to do here is you have the turbo nozzle and the turbo nozzle isn't great for platforming and you'll notice that that shine is on this really small platform like a little bitty like it's so small SB don't care SB don't just care. gonna use that SB turbo nozzle care. yeah first gotta get this little that's why we need the turbo nozzle is to break that oh yeah and also because it's fast uh over water but yeah just like that so Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> No, that's good. And then, you know, just continuing on with Delfino Shine. I believe we're going to go to the prison. Yeah, I guess we're going to the police yeah. now. Um, e. I've, I've pers I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but yeah. I've never been arrested. Is this what jail looks like? <laughs> I, I don't know. I haven't been arrested either. Okay. Well, so anyway, in this outer dimensional prison, it, I, I don't know. I don't know why. I yeah. mean, I don't, we got time for a donation. We got time for a donation. Perfect, perfect. Here's fifty dollars from the one, the only Yoshi, who says Halo is going to be a legend. Wait for it, Dairy. I I should hope it will be. <laughs> Ray. All right. Next up. I don't know actually because it's yeah. SB. Like literally, yeah. we have no idea because it's SB. <laughs> SB can fool us whatever he wants yeah. to do. The, the uh, Delfino right thing, it's important to know that you can do them in, in pretty much whatever order you oh, yeah. want. So, routing on the fly is definitely Routing on the fly is what you can do, for sure. As long as you, you know, just get all of them, you're chilling. It doesn't really matter what order you're doing them, because you start from the same place. So... Nice. Clean. Yeah, that was That's so clean. Really that was so rat. clean. To be able to barely make it up there with the spin jump oh, yeah. into the rocket at max height. Right. Into a dive to get you, oh, yeah. into a ground pound to get you a little more height to hit that. So there's a lot going on there just to be able to hit that. Uh, Shine Gate, I think I'm next. Oh. Ball. Yeah, these boxes have very finicky hitboxes. Uh, where the nozzles are. Yeah, Shine Gate, and I think this is the last. Left bell. Yeah, we have left, left bell. bell. Well, yeah. I think that's everything then. Plus the airstrip. And yeah. Oh, and the, yeah, but yeah, that's yeah. the airstrip. Airstrip is actually one of the more interesting ones, and uh, we're going to explain that more when we get there no. because... Another rocket sword shield real quick uh, to get to the top of the shine gate real quick. Yeah, but for the airstrip, like, it's oh really easy God, to... Okay. <laughs> there's a really easy cheese you can do. That It's actually pretty pretty useful, and I'm excited to explain that. Mm. So, SP, you've noticed he went for a ground pound at the top of that shine there. Uh, if he misses that, he just falls, yeah. and then has to do it again. So, yeah, it's very risky, but, yeah, clean. So, left bell here. Uh, you see this bell? It's on the left side, and we're going to clean it. Pip it back to you. Yeah. <laughs> Got some dono time? Yeah, yep. Wonderful. Here's $50 from Hupfin, who says, Illumination obtain. Hold on, I think I did that wrong. <laughs> Also got fifty dollars from Golden Devil one seven one one, who says love watching SB back here running one twenty shines. Good luck, SB. Thanks. Yeah, time for one more. Yeah, one more. Sure thing. Here's twenty five dollars from Invictus Spiritus. Invictus. Oh, let's go. They say SBSB. Good luck on collecting those one twenty shines. Good job on removing Monty Mole, and I wish you the best on dealing with that wacky Wiggler. Shout out to the Multi Mario commentary duo of Rocks and Hex. Yeah. Um. This is Airship Red. Right here. You saw it. Um, SB has four coins that he grabbed earlier. That is because uh, he needs a certain amount of coins at the end of this. He wants to be ending this level with 99 coins so we can spawn the Delphino. Wait, 99? Why 99? We need 100. Well, <laughs> well, you see, uh, he needs the 99 coins to spawn it outside Delphino. Because if he gets 100 coins here, um, then he spawns the airstrip, the, the Delphino 100 coins on in here. Yeah. But he has to get the red star. Uh, the red okay. coins. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Let's start. Wrong guy. Yeah, so it's it's really just a strategic routing yeah, point where just for coins, yeah. then you wouldn't be able to get none. So we can cut this off. That's why. This is uh, probably the closest you'll get to SM64, where you stay in the level and grab the oh, yeah. coin. But you'll see, it's like it's here. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's chilling. Um, good. But yeah, because of that we have 99 coins, and once we get out of this, uh, we just have to spray a window. Oh yeah. Uh, spawn the hundred coin shine. It's on that. Uh, it's on a little like platform behind Delphi now, and then we're gonna get it. Yeah. Um. Hooray! Yeah, Bibby, back to you. Yeah. Sure thing. Here's ten dollars from Mr. Unit, who says, "Love the energy from the couch." Shine yet. Also twenty-five dollars from Hellraiser, who says, "Oh, banana clip." <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, very similar to DK. DK64, that was on Sunday. That game is bananas too. Right? I know, <laughs> it is bananas. Chelsea Connor 75 ran Speaking of bananas. Speaking of bananas. Oh, we get to do some Fruit Lady banana. Ooh. Yeah, so um, before we heading into Snoki. Serena. Serena, Serena, okay. I don't know if you do some Serena, okay. Uh, before we head into Noki, we have to get the uh, Fruit Lady. Uh, the banana one. This one's this special. One, this one's special. This you, one's you special. Can this one, yeah. buddy. So can this, one this one's special because you know Delfino Plaza. It's a small town, and you know it's not uncommon for love to blossom between two of these piantas. Unfortunately, he tries to like you know get her number while we're putting the bananas in the basket. But we're doing her favorites. Yeah. We're, we're, we're getting her bananas, and this guy's gonna come over and like try to talk to her. And unfortunately, I had the experience of talking to the Pianta to get my blue coin, and the Pianta walked the over the coin. <laughs> the simp, we, we call him the simp. simp. He walked over the coin. So you couldn't collect it. He, and I couldn't collect it. Yeah. And I had to wait for him to move. And, and, and ever like, since it's then, random if he moves or no, not. literally. So you're just waiting. <laughs> yeah. Ever since then, I have had a vendetta against that guy. <laughs> that one specific Pianta. Well, good thing you're just sitting there. So. Yeah, that's yeah. true. <laughs> He was shy today. All right, Serena's one of the craziest revisits. Oh, yeah. Um, there are two red coins. There's Serena 8, and there's right here, Serena 100. It's one of the craziest 100 coins. My, it's my favorite 100 coin. It might be my favorite try in the game, honestly. Because yeah. um, there's just so much going oh, on. Yeah. We're going to start in this outside section, mostly collecting blues. We're only getting seven coins, or eight coins in the outside yeah. section uh, with these lamps back here, which can be very finicky. These lamps kind of suck, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, they're bad. Um, they have a weird hitbox, and sometimes you just hit Bam Sram, and they won't even give you a coin. Like, like... Prime example. Point case. Um. Um, yeah, and I think like this is interesting because we chose the seventh shine solely because in that case in point in that shine all the doors are open and we can go in every room. If we chose eight, which the game kind of like points us to, we'd have to unlock all the doors manually, and there's yeah. some rooms we can't even enter. Mm -hmm. So it's just so much easier if we do it in Pianta or in Serena Seven. In Serena, in Serena Seven, yeah. Uh, also, another thing to notice is that in this level, uh, it's a Shadow Mario level, right? But uh, the gimmick in like the actual level itself is that there are fake Shadow Marios that are actually King Boos. They give coins too, so they're gonna be helpful in getting more coins. Uh, but we're gonna be, it, it's, there's so much cool things happening here. Because uh, we have to climb the center pillar of the hotel, do a wide turn dive to quickly get them. And you have to be careful, because if you, they, 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 the Blues do despawn. Yeah, they do. Uh, so you're all on a timer. Obviously no issue for SP here. Oh. Getting everything. Yeah, uh, spraying through those just moving. Go for it. Yeah, spraying through the little walls to hit those little lamp things. They get they some of them give blue coins, but they can be a little finicky. Um, it's like we said, with the finicky hitboxes and the RNG spam sprays, like it's not a good combo. Yeah, it's not. But still, it's still one. Of, it's so cool. You can just see them all these mini things, and then we're gonna be heading up to the uh, attic soon. Yeah. Um, where there's other, you have to be careful not to jump on because you can hover slide. Um, but if you hit any of these walls, and it's a very confined space. You have to be collecting this blue blue coin oh. up here. Um, this blue blue coin right here. Uh, you have to be very careful with him. If you get him too close to the wall, he can spawn the blue coin out of bounds. If that happens, you have to come back in a yeah. different shine to get it. It's so far out of it's, place. It's, it's, it's the worst. It's really unfortunate. Um, but yeah, so this attic movement is wild. He's going to be doing these hover slides um, to make it, yeah. you know. And he's pretty much going to be moving for the rest of the level. Yeah, Pippi, you can read the missions probably for the rest of the level he cooks. Sure thing. I've got $25 from Soju Zushi, who says, I'm actually upset at how easy you did the Pachinko level. <laughs> Amazing job on this run. I'm amazed and inspired to pick up this game as a speed game. Clap, hooray. Now, if we can have one person pick up SMS because of this run, I'd say yeah, do that's a win. I, that's I a think win. that's a win. Uh, and then brief thing here before we can go back to donations. SP can just hover here and clip it. Yeah, because, attic. yeah. Insane game. Insane game right there. And then this last uh, coin is going to get is going to be uh, that, that boo right there. Mm -hmm. uh, back to you, Pippi. Yeah. Sure thing. $10 from Albert, who says, greetings from the third row. Hi, Albert. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Seeing as Mario's on a tropical vacation, here's a riddle for you. What's Mario's favorite Hawaiian island? Bro, I got no clue. <laughs> oh, what? Who? Nice. That's good. Get it? <laughs> I was like, Classic. Lulu. <laughs> got time for one yeah. more? Sure thing. Here's $50 from Claps10. It's actually one clap per shine. Uh, <laughs> says, that's not a natural cave formation. Donating for a Halo Legendary Run plus that Halo Tapestry. Yeah, the prizes we have at this event are amazing. No, yes, they're really Yes, shout they're out really to cool. the prizes. Check them out. Shout out to everyone behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. Behind the scenes, the scenes. Yeah. Like, 
sponsors, but everything for just making this happen. No, Literally, this is awesome. If you have never do a GDQ, you should come. Yeah. And if this is your first GDQ, I hope you're having an amazing time. I hope you're having time. a blast. If this is your multiple GDQ, are we having a blast back there? All right. Well, this is Serena. Right here, we're doing some door clips. We just do a wide turn behind it. We can open the door actually behind it. And, and yeah, that's why we need this level fast. Otherwise, uh, we need to like use the attic. Use the attic. And Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that now. Um, so we're going to be doing these door clips just to get all these coins early uh, in this route. Like, just like that. It, those are way difficult than they look, too. His main looks so easy. Those things are so finicky. You have to be very careful with them. Also, shout out to that bookshelf for having the worst blue coin hitbox. Oh, you my can, God, it's so you bad. You can dump an you entire gallon of water on it. literally onto done. I've, I've had times, I've had runs, where I'm in Serena 8, I am spam spraying that bookshelf, yeah. and I ran out of water and had to go back to the pool. Dude, it, it's it's crazy. No, and that was Serena 8. That was, that was so beautiful. We were so close, but it's okay. We were, we were, we were this close we were to this greatness. We were this, this close to greatness, but it's okay. Hooray! Hooray! Uh, we're back with the red coins now. Oh, yeah, we are. We're going back to the casino now. Or are we doing, do you do two or four first? Uh, two, I think. Two? Two, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, Maybe. So, yeah, the Serena reds are one of the hardest. Oh, yeah, thing. they are. Um, Serena two reds is going to be interesting. Serena like, two reds, there's a new strat. Yeah. That has people showing up. Oh, yeah. Up, yeah. Uh, the practice room. So, yeah, here we go. Serena two reds. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to do that cool entrance again with the king boost. Um... And now that we have Flood in these secrets, uh, it adds a whole new dimension. Oh, yeah. It adds a whole new game, uh, especially Serena 2. Because Serena 2 is one of the like, long, like, yeah. your, like horizontal ones. Uh, being able to have Flood oh, yeah. set up astronomically. Oh, yeah. We can do so many cool things. Uh, but first, this entrance never gets sold. Oh, yeah. Just spraying the booze, getting them out of the way. And that, that it's is so easy. difficult. It is. I am so bad at that. It's incredible. This is a cool thing that he's going to be going for. Glitchy walk Oh, he didn't end up going for it. <laughs> no. He was like, should I do this in the run? I'm like, you should go for it. He was like, maybe. Anyway, I this is cool though. Triple jump, dive to get the wall kick to come up here uh, to be able to go to the buttons. That's again another difference just because we have flood and it's really cool to, to see that. Um, yeah, no, pretty much just collecting red yeah, coins. Do the coins. Uh, this side flip sucks. Got it. Yeah, That's how the no. kid is, like, has trouble coming out though. It's not in any way. It's not really harder like mechanics wise, but just for some reason, it's harder to side flip there. I yeah. swear. I swear. It's just harder. It, it's just harder. You just just source. Just trust me, bro. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but that was incredible. Clean my aspect. Not over yet. I forgot okay, about that roll. Up. I forgot about that roll. Up. <laughs> that roll is terrifying. Yeah. All right. Hooray! So, a little bit of the lore of the hooray. Mm -hmm. I, I, just because I see him. Hi, Philly. Yeah. Philly um, did a run of Bluey, the video game earlier. Um, and we all did the hooray from the Yeah, and that was I'm awesome. glad it's caught on. It's awesome. It's awesome. If you missed that, catch it out on YouTube. Yeah. It, was, it was a sick run. Back catch gang for that one. That was, yeah, that was awesome. Fun. That was fun. Uh, we <laughs> But yeah, we're heading back to Serena. We're Serena four reds. We're heading back to the casino doing the oh, casino yeah. skip again. We have to make sure we get uh, the blue coin. Uh, that is and just chilling in a lamp in the casino. Also, let's give a shout out to SMS for being left-handed friendly. You can do the skip on both sides. You can. If you, you like, if, you, if you like the left or you like the right, you can do, you it, do it on both, both sides. Exactly. However, we do need to go to the right side here because we, we do need the blue coin. Um, but it's actually faster to do left side in the first round of four. It is because we got the blue coin on the left sides. Okay. But yeah, we're going right side here. Um, a little bit of a different version of casino skip. You saw him go off the lamp earlier. We're gonna be going off this little side here, this wall kicking up. Same concept though, and then Serena at four reds, which is actually one of the hardest levels that yeah. casuals, yeah. like like first runners, mm -hmm. have trouble with. Um, SP's not gonna have any problems with that. Just, it, this is this is one of the coolest ones in my opinion. Because oh, yeah. at the end of the day, you're just going forward, but there's just stuff in the way, so you just got to get it out of the way of the stuff going forwards. So yeah, getting up on the blocks, doing that wall kick there, get him a little two, get over here, doing a momentum spin jump oh, yeah. there, off of that, getting enough height to get all three of these diving, rolling out, and this looks like a clean 42, uh, a little high 41. Clean. Still very Just good. Clean. Very clean. Yeah. yeah. Pippi, back to you. Yeah, just 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 doing a bad at the end here. All sure yours. thing. I've got a appropriate $150 donation for you from Evanosaurus Rex. Oh hi Evan. His Who uh, says somewhere. This bluey SMS collab we're getting from the crowd on every shine get is something I never knew I needed. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Shout out to Evan, um, Evasaurus Rex. He was actually like, he, he was like a top like yeah. Epic Games, uh, like works on Fortnite. Uh, also volunteering for the event. I know this. Volunteer number two. My badge says attendee number two. So if anyone can find attendee number one, I need to take a really funny Twitter picture. Um, 
So that, that's why PSA, if you see attendee number one, send them my way. All right, coming up is the red coin fish. And this one, I don't know what it is, but I just like this level. I, this level's it, chill. Nice. It's so chill. Um, it's always really cool because you saw SB grab uh, blue coins earlier in the no. eel. He does that so he can make a quicker cycle no, in he this leaves level. one. Yeah. Okay? Just so he can make this cycle yeah. right here without it. He has to make sure he doesn't get uh, what we like to be called fish. Yeah. Uh, these fish uh, like to eat you. Yeah. Um, and they're not fun. They can take you out of the way. We call it... It happened to our friend Gamut once. Shout out to Gamut. Gamut. Shout out to Gamut. We miss you, bro. Bro, look at that clean. That look was so that. That was insane. That was insane. That was so you good. You missed that one cycle. Oh no, the it's, 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 oh it's so good. So <laughs> no, that was so good. It's, yeah, but now we got a nice little time to just fall down. And it is faster to like, because the span straight pushes you down a little bit. So SP is This gives you like 0.2 and, more speed each oh, yeah. time you do yeah. it. it. Saves a couple frames. It, but so it hey, matters. Every frame matters. Every frame every matters. matters. Yeah. Pippi, back to you. So true. Sure thing. $25 from Materia17, who says, love watching GDQ events with the family, including my three-year-old son, who was born during a GDQ 2021 marathon, and we had the stream on in the maternity ward. <laughs> That's awesome. That's that is sick. Uh, now he is watching this su uh, amazing Super Mario Sunshine run with me and clapping along with the Shine guests. That's adorable. That's <laughs> awesome. That's adorable. <laughs> literally, those stories like that literally make like my heart just like no, I, like it makes it all worth it, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna briefly interject. I I used to be that kid. I used to be young watching GDQ. Always believe in your dreams because it, I can get up here from being a star. If we can get up here, <laughs> always believe. It's never, it's, it's never, never no. impossible. No, you're, yeah. Also, brief thing that happened there is SP had just slightly too much speed going into a wall. You'll bonk if you have too much speed instead of wall jumping. Mm, but right here, one of the most difficult shines in the world, oh, yeah. at least in my opinion. No key hundreds. There is, it's, it's, there's so many blues just scattered everywhere. There's so many coins. This is a hundred coin shine. He hasn't gotten one coin yet. Oh yeah. Like, it, like, yeah. And we're like kind of well. We're gonna get the nozzle here for the rocket, um, and we're gonna start on our adventure around the bay. There's so many different tricky blues to get here. That first one, if you go too close to that blue coin, the first one he got, uh, it punches you. Out yeah, of it, and you have it's... to climb all the way back up. This one is incredibly difficult. So if you miss that, it's just, it, it, yeah. it's hard to back up. If you miss this one, it's even worse. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because you're stuck with the turbo nozzle. And yeah. Platforming with the turbo nozzle it's, it's, is so no bad. Bay is it's so bad. Hot. It's just no. Especially like all the way down. Yeah, it's not happening. But we got turbo because we can, you know, fly across the water. We're going to get this Link O's right here and get a whole bunch of blues across the water or a whole bunch of coins across the water. Um, yeah. Something that lower level runners will do is they'll grab that hover nozzle to traverse the ending. Mm -hmm. But top level runners will keep just turbo, keep nozzle, turbo nozzle throughout. And it makes platforming a lot harder, but it's a lot, a lot faster, faster for them to do it. Mm -hmm. And it looks a lot. Yeah. In my opinion, it just looks a lot. And so now. SP is just pretty much gonna smooth. Yeah, so it's the one of the most difficult skills in this game um, that you really won't be able to tell unless you play it is controlling the turbo nozzle. Oh yeah. This is so hard to do effectively. Like this turn, getting all of them, I mean, he showed it off at Airship Reds amazingly, but it's showing him here to be able to get all of that. That is so hard to do. And also getting that blue point of the jump dive. Uh, it's weirdly placed above the ground. Yeah. So yeah, that's incredible. Right here, he's going to be doing a spin jump, a wide turn, ground pound to hit that early. Yeah. It's so precise. It's so, it, it's not that precise, but you have to do it. You have to be able to hit that little block that he just passed. Um, uh oh. I'm going to keep going a little higher there so we can need to get this blue. And then we're going to see SP traverse the walls with the. The, the walls of the blues here, okay. With the turbo nozzle. Uh, with the turbo nozzle, you can't bonk. Yeah. Uh, which is really nice. If you have the hover nozzle, you have to be careful of bonking. Oh, yeah. Turbo nozzle, you don't bonk. Uh, so you can just kind of just run across and get all these coins. Uh, you notice that the ground pounds after, you know, getting this. If you just walk off and try to land on it, you will fall. Yeah. The collision can be really wonky. And um, I know we talked about being able to improv on the fly, but this is one shine where you do not want to have to improv, improv on the fly. You, yeah, you can, but it's not recommended. Also, that was incredible. That was, that was so, so good. good. Wait, it's not over it's yet, It's not over though. yet, though. There is a jump to get to there that shine. There is a jump to the end of the, end of the shine. Um, Let's give, let's give some silence. Let's let let's, uh, the SP concentrate. Yeah, you have to, he's very careful here because he wants to land on this rope right here. So clean right there. Getting on it, doing a side flip here. Barely making it on the rope. That was the star. Give him that a round of applause. Give him so his credit. Clean. That was so good. Hooray! <laughs> it's a cool level. It oh, is, that is a really cool level. What, probably my favorite. Oh, actually, really the Bluey Runner also runs SMS 120. Yep. So... It all, comes full circle. it all comes full circle. Uh, back in Noki, we're heading into Noki 6. Reds are hidden. 
Uh, reds. Reds. No Gear Six Reds is one of the, is is one of the most difficult reds oh, yeah. in my opinion. We're gonna see it's, the new ropes too. Yeah. Oh yeah. So here, this is what I was talking about earlier. Ropes. Um, this is. Oops. Oh, never mind. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> it happens. That was a new strat. We we're gonna go. This is just the old strat. Not too big of a deal. We're gonna go up here and traverse these ropes. These ropes have very finicky. Yeah. Just mechanics they just, overall. They just work very like difficult. Yeah, there's a little bit of delay of when you can move after hitting them, and like and how high you get shot up is oh, difficult. Good. And sometimes you can just fall off of them for no reason. That's a fun one always. If um, you're underneath the rope and you ground pound, you'll sometimes get like it's worked so up. It, 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 it's, it's cool, so annoying. but like it's finicky. It's yeah, but the, the ropes can be very annoying. Um, yeah, Noki six reds is very difficult. Um, just because. Uh, not necessarily because of cycles or anything. This is like the coin locations are really awkward. Yeah. So like there's one up here, but then you do a Y turn to fall there and do like a quick UE to get this one. Um, and then this coin right here is uh, very awkwardly spaced. That was really clean. That was also kind of awkward, but yeah, able to get it. Just have to get this one Y turn dive onto the cog. And then yeah, very movement, clean. Movement masterpiece. Like, yeah. That was just clean. Yeah, that was, that was, that was textbook. Uh, if you look up textbooks in the, in, in the, if you look up textbook in the textbook, you'll see SB. SB's a textbook now? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that bit fell flat. Yeah, you it fumbled happens. that one. You fumbled that one. I was hanging off. You fumbled it. I'm sorry. No. Um, Noki. Noki bird. Noki bird now. Birch. Um, yeah, just another gold bird here. Yeah. Uh, just in the secret, you just gotta go get the the gold bird. Not too much happening. Up to you, Pippi. Sure you. thing. Here's to $25 from Picalax Alt, who says, look at all those bluey coins we have. Hooray. Um, Hooray. <laughs> here's 120 from Rathitz, who says, I donate a dollar, SB gets a shine. And that's how we keep the schedule on time. <laughs> Thank you. Time for a few more? Yep, yeah. go for it. Here's $5 from Kiwi, who says, if ever there was a physical embodiment of chaotic good, it's Rox and Hex commentating <laughs> yeah. on this couch right now. <laughs> Their incredible energy leaves me suddenly so inspired Ray. to hop Ray on that. the $5 hype train. Anyone else want to join me? Let's leave in the station. Choo-choo. <laughs> choo-choo, choo-choo. So, we're coming up to the end of the round. We only have one more level yeah. left. But oh it's a big, it's a lot of... There's a lot to do There's here. a lot to do in Gelato because we skipped most of it on our first visit. Mm. So, there's a whole lot to do in Gelato the revisit. But it is um, the last yeah. the last world that we're going to be heading to before the ending here. There is one more to do crew. But it's we're going to be saving for the end. We're going to be saving yeah. for the end, okay? Mm. I hope I'll so. Do Please do it last, yeah. <laughs> Just more. do one on one RL, yeah. But we're going to be starting here. In Gelato 6, this one's important to do early because of the turbo nozzle. We oh, need yeah. to hit this one. Um, Looks like he's gonna do 100s. Oh, do 100 so we can get the yeah. turbo nozzle. So later. you can do 100s in two shines optimally. Six of six three. three. Six is actually faster, but it is a lot it harder. It is a lot harder. We're gonna be using Yoshi, um, and it's just a lot can go wrong. This is also, I think, the. I don't know if this or Bianco 100s. Is Bianco longer. 100's probably longer. I think Bianco's, Bianco's longer with the blues. Yeah. Um, I, the IL wise, I know this one's longer if you're uh, just getting the shine, but. The reason we do uh, in and six is we'd usually do six hidden because there's a shine hidden in a staircase that we usually get. And what the other route does is we get the blue coins there. But we kind of merge the two routes where we do part of the hundreds and three in six and we also grab those blue coins. So it's just another thing about being efficient. The main obstacle for six hundreds is there's coins on a slope and you have to use the turbo nozzle. And like I said before, the slope physics in SMS are not the greatest. Yeah, and, and turbo nozzle plus slope, the, you're going to watch what happens. Yeah. It, it, some weird things happen with Mario there and we're, we'll, you'll see it when it happens. Um, right here, getting the coconut because Yoshi needs one. Um, I, this is the worst RNG, I think. You would definitely want something from the free Yeah. yeah. Uh, kind of unfortunate, but not too big. It thing. happens. Uh, took a weird bounce there. Yeah, so there's yeah, not so yeah, there's, not much going on right now. Not too much going on, just to be getting some coins. Baby, back to you. Sure thing. I've got $15 from Nick, who says, shine, and I cannot stress this enough. Yeah. Get! <laughs> So that's why we need Yoshi. That's one of the reasons we get the goop. We also need to get the bees with Yoshi, uh, which is why right over here. Yeah. And then soon we'll we'll have SB unlock the turbo nozzle. One thing that we probably forgot to mention is we never unlock the, the nozzles in Delfino Plaza because usually you have to beat Shadow Mario, spray him down, and he gives them to you. When you enter Corona, you unlock all the that's nozzles true. by default. That is something that we did forget to mention. That is very important. 
so right here doing a the cool strat. Blade. Insane Beyblade just get high enough to get this blue coin and this stack of coins without needing the rocket nozzle. Uh, really cool strat. And this is why we need to do hundreds early, or at least something in six early, to get the turbo nozzle. And the reason six is very difficult because this movement right here is, as you can probably imagine, not very, very finicky. Uh, so we're just let us do this ground pounding um, inside of the to change the angle. But being able to very get clean, very, very clean. Hard. Doing a spin jump Y turn up here, getting these coins here. And then um, gonna be doing a very difficult strat here to climb these ropes because we don't have we don't have any we don't even have the rocket nozzle help or the hover nozzle. We have the turbo nozzle. Yeah. So going vertically with the turbo nozzle is not very uh, intuitive. So we just do the you know just do the ropes. That was incredibly clean. Ropes that was so very clean. difficult. Pulling ourselves off here, get these coins, do a little wide turn in midair to end up under these uh, under the balcony. There's a blue coin in here, um, and then. Yeah, exactly 100 coins, perfect routing. That was really clean. That was really good. Was really uh, one little thing that's different on the 3D All-Stars version of the game that is, it, it's it's just wacky. So that cash register that you saw SB get, he uh, it gives him a certain amount of coins. In the 3D All-Stars version, one of the coins just despawns. So you get one less coin and you have to find a backup. It's like a very small difference, but it's just so weird. Mm. Yeah, it's, yeah. No, that's good. No, and sometimes with the bees, Bees are always finicky when they spawn out. Or that blue cataquack that's oh on the tree. Oh my god. I've seen that spawn inside the little thing. Yeah. And it like out of bounds way too many times. Oh yeah. There's a backup where you can get it, but you just don't want to you don't want to have to worry about it. No, yeah, I get you. And uh, where are we gonna be ending up now? Yeah. It's time. It's time for Rocket Bird. Mm -hmm. so, this strat is so cool. As all of you, as anyone who's played this game, they know you know the standard bird. You have yeah. a lot of four. What Usually you have the hover nozzle. What if I told you you could do it with the rocket nozzle? I, I wouldn't believe you. You wouldn't believe me? I don't think I believe you. Really? I, I'm gonna have to see it. Well, you better let him talk. You gotta get proven wrong. Call Ripley's believe it or not, because I do not. All right. I guess so. But I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, he grabs the rocket nozzle. You, you might be wrong. I'm not yeah, sure. I, just, this is good. I, how, I don't know. Like You can't walk without the hover nozzle. What, what, what happens when it goes sideways? Uh-oh. See, you can't. <laughs> no, you can. I believe in SB. It happens. That's Sometimes, the first. Oh, I wouldn't want to, that was the first of the run. Oh, that's, that's 25 true. Bucks, 25 bucks. That was the first death of the run. Plus it, the five from oh, the yeah. Durians. So that's 20. So we're up to and then 30 from the. 30, 30 from King from Boo the, because you just did it to yourself. Oh, yeah. So I'll, but I'll do it for you. So that's what. I'll round up to 100. I'll give 100 total. Okay. You know what? I'm down. <laughs> What's the point of making incentives if we're just going to give a. Oh, anyway, this is the magic. Gonna be using the rocket to hit these cloud clouds because the clouds, they they you know get bigger when you spray them. However, it's really sometimes you can't do that because we're like rocketing from yeah. above. Um, so very difficult rocket store, double rocket storage. Doing another one here has to time it perfectly so we can dive right on this blue coin. It's looking good. Where are we dropping? Oh, yeah. It looks like it's looking good. Touchdown! And then, not over yet, rocket rollouts to the center. These are incredibly difficult. If you drop these, it's 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 yeah, over. It's over. That was beautiful. But he made it. That was so clean. Uh, I have to make sure just to get the shine not fall off because I've walked off before. Oops. <laughs> so <laughs> confirm. It is possible. It is to possible. Do it with the with okay. the rocket now. Okay. I, was, I just wasn't sure. The That's more you know. The more you know. Um, but yeah, that is easily one of the coolest strats. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's so, so cool. cool. Um, and it, yeah, you, anything with the rockets and clouds and things you're not supposed to have the rocket with, like you, awesome. that's fairly possible because yeah. of that. Oh yeah, um, no, it's, it's really, it's cool. really cool. It's so. And it's cool. also cool because like it's another auto scroller, so if you didn't skip it, you would just you just not be happy waiting. Exactly. So it that it saves like literally just time. Oh, I get you. And then now, actually, or hidden or regular. Uh, six with the fish. All right. Fish. All right. So the fishies. This shine. This shine kind of. This shine is on. brutal. Uh, the fish move in RNG ways, and there's two sets of fish holding blue coins and two sets of fish holding red coins. Yep. And we needed all of them. Um, they were kind of annoying. That first one was really nice. But that was the first fish. Uh, then we got to get this blue all the way out here. I've seen it where the fish can take the blue like out of bounds. Like there's like a, an crazy. invisible wall. So that you can't go like too far out. I've seen the fish go past that, so you can't get it. Fish also like to clip in to, especially the red coin ones, clip into this little, you know. Oh yeah, area. and it sucks because you can't get them if they clip in. Yeah, but that was really nice getting that one right there. That was a good energy. Um, yeah. Also, that coral right there, it can, oh. can upwarp you for some reason. That was sick that he got that right. That was there. sick. That was incredible. Dude, this is. Oh my god, this is like. 
That was like a real. Bring out the dogs and put out the fire. That was insane. Made up a little bit for the sandbird. That was insane. Yeah, that was crazy. That was a really good RNG. Really good. Yeah, let's get a round of applause for that. That, if that level goes wrong, it can go strong. You have to chase a fish. It's so annoying. Luckily, we have the turbo nozzle. That's why we have it. Yeah. Um, and also just traverse it to get there faster. Yeah. And back into gelato. Oh, yeah. Um, we'll see where we're going. We'll see it's where we're going. Oh, it's not like, <laughs> I'm thinking Wiggler. You think of Wiggler? Oh. Wiggler. Like, fine. It's time to do some Wiggler. Uh. The way Wiggler works in this game is um, there are three plants. <laughs> yeah. Uh, litter, scattered around the beach, where you, you need to trip Wiggler. And they're off a little bit of amount of time. SV is going to be using different uh, audio slash video cues. Like, like, he just has the timing. He knows when to do it, to do this as fast as possible. We're going to be collecting some clues along the way as well. A lot more of that multitasking we were talking about earlier, of uh, just doing multiple things at the same time. So while we're waiting for the Wiggler to, you know, go into this animation and be ready to get hit, which is also random which one of these balls yeah. it's his, um, his available on, we're doing that while we spawn this link pair with this triangle, which had to be fast because these triangles kind of go away. Yeah, they do. Uh, you can catch up on you. Doing it again, but this is fine because we need to wait for the Wiggler anyway, okay? Because we're going back over here. We're doing it. That blue coin's still there, but now we hit this. Go over here. Oh, oh that was unfortunate. Beautiful. Uh, if you get it, if you get better on G, you can just kind of like, while it's sliding by, you can just ground pound and time it. Yeah. It looks sick. Uh, was it, got the first one, like the earliest ones, gotta go back a little bit. Not to think of a deal, still able to make the blue coin cycle. That's kind of all that matters. Yeah. Okay, next and then up, for the this final last hit. This last hit is special because it relies on an audio cue. And unfortunately, there's a thing where sometimes, if you watch kind of lower level runners, the wiggler will get launched into the water, but it'll be so far into the water that you can't ground, ground pound. Fizz. And it's 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 like the worst thing ever. When it, when it happens, you feel so demoralized. <laughs> Shout out to Fizz. Shout out to Fizz. Shout out to Fizz. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so, that was incredible good wiggler. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was really fast. Uh, so we probably have time for a quick donation. Quick donation? No. Sure thing. Here's $25 from Casey, who says, I'm a chuckster, <laughs> throwing my donation towards the Prevent Cancer Foundation during this awesome Mario Sunshine run. Money goes to the Halo Legendary Incentive, which has surpassed $42,000. Oh, Bro, shout I'm out so to all the guys. Yeah, no, it's awesome. <laughs> I, I, it's so cool to watch. All these donations coming yeah. in. Oh, my God. Also, best best shy name, Mirror Madness Till Slam Bam. That's yeah, the name of the shine. That's the name of the shine. I, I, and <laughs> the second mirror in this level can be pretty finicky because you'll it'll look like the cataclysm is on the edge, and if you ground pound it, he'll just stay there. And yeah. it's pretty annoying when it happens, it's, yeah, but it all it, 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 it's a little funny. It's a very it's a this is a lot of weight. This kind of level is kind of boring because yeah. you have to go up there, knock the plungellas off. Um, we were using rocket nozzle just to uh, just maneuver around each other once uh, more efficiently. Which is also here. RNG. Yeah, it is random where they kind of are. They just kind of, the plunge levels are kind of running around. Uh, something can happen where sometimes they can just fall off. Yeah. It's, it's, it's again, rare. Uh, it's, it's rare, but it can know. happen, but they can just walk out the edge. Um, but then this cutscene happens after every single time. It's really and slow. It, it spawns Mario back in a specific position, so back here. Um, there's things we can do to kind of move during it and like end up at a different place, but it's semi-limited. Yeah. So I think yeah, right now we're just right now we're just kind of chilling. Uh, there's a blue coin we have to get at the very end under where the shine is. And uh, it's only there. It's you can't only get there it anywhere it's else. Only in gelato too. But we can do another one of those text box skips. Yeah. Uh, just by collecting it while we collect the shine. Okay, very simple. Ah, uh, but yeah, back to you, Pippi. Sure thing. I've got a simple fifty dollars from Jeremy who says shine get. Shine get. Yeah. Also, $25 from Matt L, who says, SV is so talented, this run is really impressive. Really helps to have amazing talent on the couch, too. Let's beat cancer. Yeah, me and Hex are incredible Thank SMS no. runners, obviously, with my 425 <laughs> and his 331. Listen. Compared to SV's 252. You, you know what they say, coaches don't play. Coaches don't play. Coaches, coaches don't, don't play. play. Coaches don't play. Coaches don't play. Scared money don't make money. Scared money don't make money. So yeah, there's the text box tip right there. Uh, getting the blue coin as we do it. Um, yeah, we only have five shines left. Yeah, we we are slowly approaching the end of our time. So with we have, you guys. yeah, we have gelato hidden. We have the two reds. Um, we have one of the we have the last shine we get besides Corona, and then we have Corona. So yeah, well, right I, now gelato hidden. I think I'm gonna do birds. Okay, no, gelato, gelato five. Yeah, gelato five. 
has probably the worst birds in the run, I'd say. It, yeah, and we're saving them for the end. There's two of them, though. Mm -hmm. There's two of them at the end. And these freaking birds that we hate, they, um, they can just be all over the place. Yeah, depending on where the birds are, some, sometimes they can be flying off, sometimes they can be there. Um, you're going to route in the blue coins you're going to grab and the stuff you're going to do so that you time it so that um, whenever you're free, you can spray the birds. And that's a nice thing to do. It's like a nice thing that can help cushion the blow if you get bad RNG. Also, another thing to mention, is on the Japanese version of the game, there's no race music. I didn't notice that. Yeah. Oh my god, I yeah. never noticed that. Yeah. That's wild. I yeah. never realized that. Holy... I didn't... Uh, uh, oh, that was incredible. Beautiful, that was beautiful, incredible beautiful. Sure. So I have to get one. Yeah, yeah, so one flew off. Now SB's going to use this time to, uh, to get, get this one all the way. Usually we have the rocket nozzle for this. Uh, just using a hover. Just do, you know, two vessels there. I, I, I'm a hover. I'm a hover. In this level. I, I do enjoy hover. It's all the five. Uh, oh, you, my God. Beautiful. Those were, those beautiful. were perfect. Perfect. That, that is, was, that that was like so good. Birds. Those like, get get a round of applause. Round of get a round of applause. Those freaking birds that we love. Homies. Homies. Love them. That was good. That was clean. That was, that was, that was clean. clean. And that was the last blue coin. Yeah, yeah that's it. We're at 240, blues. baby. 240. Hooray. No more blues. We're just pure, unadulterated. No more blues. Shines. But I think we got some time for some donations. We do have some time for donations. Sure thing. I've got $50 here from Valen, who says, Sunshine was my comfort game growing up. Love the vibes from the OST. Thank you, you wonderful people. Heart, that manta was my bane. Ah. <laughs> Time for one more? Yep, go no, for it. Real good. Here's $25 from Sassy Tofu, who says, hello from the crowd. I've been watching GDQ Hi, for half my life now, and I'm turning 21 next month. I remember watching a sunshine run for my first GDQ event, and now all these years later, I got to finally attend live and see a sunshine run in person. SB, you're doing an amazing job, and here's to another amazing GDQ. Hooray! 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 Hooray. Hooray. Never give up on your dreams. Shouts to Tofu for GDQ, and now we're here. All go full circle. All, All right. right, there are two more signs left in Gelato. Yeah. So one of them is, well, it's Gelato 1. Yeah. It's, it's our final secret of the run. Time for us to say goodbye. So but I think we should stand up for this one. <laughs> we're wearing headsets. But I, okay. Don't matter. Oh, God. <laughs> we'll, 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 you we'll know wait till we get inside. Like, we'll wait till we get inside. Oh, yeah, let's wait till we get inside. Fine. You know what? We'll wait. But, crowd, mm. we, we're, we we're going to need you to give you your all. We need you There's guys. There's a whole lot of you we here. Need we need you guys. all of you to, to participate. We're going to be listening, and we can tell which one of you aren't doing it. We can tell. We can tell. All right, but so, very quickly. Uh, just hitting this to spawn the uh, sand castle. Uh, and yeah, it just gotta avoid the cataclysm. We're, we're, we're just waiting for the song. It's, it's pretty right, much how it goes. Here we go. Here we go. Let's here we go. go. All right, for the next one. Do you wanna get into the. Do we go in frame? Wait. There we go. Easy. Do 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 crew. Signing out. Signing out. Signing out. We killed that. We did. I'm glad we brought it back. We're so back. We're so back. We're so back. We are so back. GDQ is so back. HDQ was so back, and I'm so happy. Last shine in gelato, right? Last shine in gelato, yeah. This is gelato one reds. Uh, this is one of the cooler red shines, in my, red coin shines, in my mm. opinion. Um, it's, it, it's, it, it, there's a lot of uh, wide turn spins. Just like just because, and there's so many sand blocks everywhere. And those sand blocks, you step on, they fall, because mm. you know it's sand. It's like Minecraft. No, yeah, I get you. Um, yeah, no, it's cool. And it's, then um, there's. One thing I don't think we mentioned is there's possible to do an up warp in, true. in that level. It's not even faster, it's just cool. It's just cool. Um, Fortunately, a little bit slower, so we're not gonna see it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's final reds of gelato, and then that's the final level yeah. shine. And then we have one more Delfino shine. And then it's showtime. Yeah, it's interesting seeing the routing because that Delfino shine we're gonna grab yeah. is gonna take us to the to, center of the plaza. And which we can immediately go yeah. down to trademark all over the coins. Also, we gotta get 24 claps when we get the 24 shines from the blue coins. That's true. Because we get all 24 coins at yeah. once. Um, Toadette oh yeah. could never. From Odyssey. Toadette, Toadette from Toadette Odyssey could never. never. Toadette from Odyssey could never. Um, but yeah, right here, barely hitting the edge of that so it slides oh yeah. off. You can do a wide turn into that final red to hit this, okay? And then just, you know, get into the shine. So clean. 
38's really good. All right, one more, one more. And one more. And it's the beach pipe, yeah. the super slide. Um, Hexpeed runs, or not Hexpeed runs, you're Hexpeed runs. Yeah, I am Hexpeed runs. <laughs> I'm Theo, but I'm also Hexpeed You're Theo, but you're also Hexpeed runs. Yeah. <laughs> Average Trey actually has a video on this level two. This really super simple level, you wouldn't expect there's anything to it. There's a lot to it. There is. Um, so shout out to Trey, make an epic video for information on this level. But it's the final level we do in the yep. run. Um, and it's a really difficult one too. So what Espy's gonna be doing is hitting the B button and holding forward. Yeah. There we go. Okay. And now he's gonna land. Now we're flying with style. Where are we drop? Hold, boys? hold, hold. There we go. <laughs> Easy. And that's the last round of the run. Um, but let's get so. one quick last set of donations in. Hooray. What? Well, okay, first do, well, for blue coins, we need to okay. clap. After the blue, After blue coins. coins, donations. You got it. Before Kamano, yeah. So over here, these, um, the Tanukis, they kind of stole all of the shines. Yeah, like, they're I, kind of the issue. This is like they're some kind of the money laundering or they're something kind of like the that. Like, wait. 24. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! All right, back to you, Pippi. You got it. Here's $100 from Dan. I'm going to try my best. Good luck, donation announcer. Mario made many magnificent moves, mastering mysterious mushrooms, maneuvering meticulously through mushroom-filled mazes. This one is for my brother and father. Great job with the run. <laughs> that was incredible. That was awesome. <laughs> anyway, we're going to let... That was incredible. Uh, but fast road up. Let, Let us cook. be cooked. Let him cook. Let him cook. Oh. Down the middle, okay. This is a different variant. Should have gone the other way. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately the movement got a little uh, scuffed, so SP just did a back like track. Not too big of a deal, doesn't lose too much oh, yeah. time. Uh, fast boat here, it's a boat, you go fast. Uh, and then one last rocket storage to skip the cloud yeah. section. So we can just do a rocket storage to literally just shoot up into the loading zone. Uh, and then the Bowser fight. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bowser works, interestingly, where you can get what we call getting gooped. Yeah. Um, Bowser can ground pound, goop strays everywhere. You can get hit by the goop, uh, and it can mess you up, and you can lose time to it. Another uh, thing that can happen sometimes is if you stand on a specific crack when the platform is break breaking, you just clip right through. You clip right through, yeah. Come on in, Mama Peach. Thanks. I think not. I think not. Da, da. You, you again? Just... Don't you ever give up, Mario? How dare you take over my family vacation? Oh. All right, here we go. Here we Final go. fight. Let's count down from five whenever SP hits yeah, one of these hits. platforms. Five. One. one. <laughs> five, 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 five. <laughs> Two. Three. Oh, there's ah, the goop. goop. Unfortunate. Always not big deal. Bro does not fold. SP does not fold. <laughs> Four. Four. And time's right here, by the way. And time. time. Let's go. Let's go. 255 is that wild. Is so good. 255 Bro, is incredible. That run was insane. Was that was, that was insane. so good. That SP. was insane. Thank my, you. My man. <laughs> I just stopped. That was awkward. Don't put that on the cringe Let's try this again. No blame. Yeah. All right. Four is yours. Shout out to anything. Uh, well, that was 120 shines and Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, I've been SB. Uh, yeah, please follow SB. Follow this SB's man. SB's on the ground for follow Come on. Um, for SMAS 120, he does it all the time. The, the, goat. the goat. The goat. The goat. The guy. The goat. You just watched it happen, but yeah. The goat. Um, so always on that grind. Yeah, the game's and, really hard, as you could probably tell. Oh, yeah, yeah a lot yeah. of APM, a lot of a lot that goes into something like this, for sure. Yeah. Thank you again, SB, for letting me commentate. Yeah. And, Rocks, and it was thanks amazing. thanks for letting me... Uh, Waffle. Thanks for letting me barge in a waffle. <laughs> yeah, shout outs to both of you, definitely. Yeah, it was, that was awesome. Runs. That was That's awesome. Runs on Twitch. This is my boy Rox. Rox underscore. Rox TV yeah. underscore. R O X underscore. There's, an, uh, there's no underscore here, but there's an underscore on Twitch. Pippi. And me. Shout out to Pippi. Shout out to Pippi. Amazing Pippi. job. Pippi to top hat. And amazing shout out to everyone runner. behind the scenes. Shout out to everyone possible. in the back this to the awesome. audience. The audience was packed. Dude, you guys were great. You guys hey, one round of applause for the audience. All right, that was so fun. Shout out to all the awesome. Shout out to the best community. Shout out yeah, to yeah. 
Shout out to just everyone, shout outs, man. Yo, just shout outs. Um, yeah, that was sick. Next up, we got Diamond and Probiachi, and that's gonna be an incredible ride. You don't want to go anywhere. You don't want to go anywhere. You don't want to stick move. around. I'm going right there. Um, yeah, yeah, that I'm was awesome. Going right back there, y'all. Dreams come true. Dreams come true. <laughs> Never stop giving up. At SP, I'm so glad you got to run it back. That was awesome. That was amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Glad to have you. One both. last round of applause for SP. One last round of applause for SP. We gotta walk. We gotta hold the saddles on the top. Huh. All right. I think that's it for us then. Okay. <laughs>